Well, hello again, baseball fans. It's been a while. It's been a while. So we're going to, we're rolling on, rolling on. We are in, as the tin says, the penultimate week. The penultimate week. Got to put that master's degree to work. So Steve Tate is finishing uh, knocking out some games. So we're getting down to it, guys. So uh, two division winners already, two have clinched Liverpool and Canada. Um, Liverpool finishes 14 and a half in front of Berlin. So tough, tough fight there in that earth division. Uh, yeah, Canada, as expected, the only thing about Canada was how many games uh, Canada was going to win this year. And uh, Canada won 106 games. So uh, they finished 15 ahead of Lancaster. It was a tough, tough division, actually. Uh, Lancaster and Vegas both playing uh, played well above 500 baseball, uh, but we still have some decisions here to make um, in the wind and the water division. So the Lehigh Lizards just, uh, well, they're not, not just, they're eight games in front of Chico. So Chico's a pretty strong team all year, but Lehigh as well. So it's been a back and forth battle between those two. A closer, lake, uh, closer one is in the water division. Tampa Bay looking to repeat as um, division leader, division winner in this. Uh, but Hadley Lake kind of breathing down their next three and a half back in mid-Michigan, not out of this yet, at five back. So um, some good stuff coming up. So welcome in, guys. Welcome in, welcome in. Hopefully um, we'll get some more folks in here. So throughout the game, I'm going to be announcing a couple uh, things, that's, things that are going on in the community. And let me see. This thing all whacked out. Okay, so there's just uh, the 20th and 21st left. Looks like to me, just to make sure. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. All right, let's see. Do we have anything sort of meaningful here? Uh, not really. <laughs> just some good games. So uh, we're going to have Liverpool and Berlin play. Uh, let me see. We got Hagerstown, Manchester. Manchester, um, last year's uh, World Series champ, uh, finished what? What do we got here? Five games above 516 and a half back. So um, not going to get the first pick um, of the draft when it comes up, but still. So we also have Cleveland and T-Ville. So everybody else pretty much out of it, but I think we'll do Liverpool Berlin for this one. And then we'll go to the 21st. I'll zip it back up or BBX files. And then uh, we'll be starting, um, I guess, actually the next week will be the penultimate week. So sorry about that. We'll just pretend. All right. Quick announcement, Steve already made them on his channel, but I thought we'd make them on this. For those of you who may be watching later or what have you. So the Fields of Dreams League has indeed become um, very, very popular. 24 owners, there's an opening in the league. So if anybody's interested, hit us up in the Discord. But also, um, they have started the... Um, Court Dreams. So Court Dreams, this is for basketball, using Action PC Basketball. Um, I believe there are 14. Uh, Dave Buckshot, welcome in. He says, you think that uh, Steve planted an anti-Chico virus in the league file? <laughs> All right, David and Bernie, welcome in, guys. Been a while. Um, so for basketball fans out there, um, to check that out, um, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not in that. But uh, I'm certainly going to be tuning in. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then for football fans, if you want to hit the Discord again, that's the, uh, uh, the I think it's still called the Baseball Geek Squad. Um, but anyhow, um, there's there's a section now for Court Dreams. And also they want to start one for football. So interested parties that want to play some pigskin puffery, um, hit them up in Discord and let them know. And that will be using Action PC Football. I do believe, which I'm not involved in that either. But again, want to tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's about the community and it's about fun. RGL Network is here with us. Um, so quick announcement about the McGreevy League, and then we'll get into the game. I know I've been talking about this. I think what we're going to do, we're going to hold off on it um, for a little while. Uh, the reason being is I think, and and because I'm all for this, I think with the... Um, the basketball league starting up. Uh, we're going to be heading into season three of Fields of Dreams baseball and a possible uh, football league. I think that's going to be that's a lot. So we're going to have, you know, all that going on. And I think for the McGreevy League right now, 
as I had planned it, it's not going to happen. But we're going to have a version of it where Bernie and I um, are going to be each doing a kind of McGreevy League thing where he's going to kind of be the president of one league. I'm going to be the president of the other league. We're going to work out the logistics of doing the backups back and forth. That's going to be an out of the park baseball. So as Bernie and I shape that up, um, I'll let you know. But the regular McGreevy League um, isn't going to be back for a while. Um, I, I just think that would be too much. You know, with McGreevy, Fields of Dreams, uh, court, the, 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 the basketball, Court Dreams, and Gridiron Dreams. So um, I'd rather not add a fifth thing into the mix. That being said, let's play some baseball. Let's play some baseball. So I don't see Dwayne Martz. I don't see anybody here. So I'm just going to set uh, Hager, or Manchester as the home team, and let's play. Boy, it feels weird. Hey, and I'm using, I, mean, I think we'll change this to a different Yankee Stadium, actually. Um, park image. Let's play. Let's let's do another one. Let's 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 play another one instead of the uh Grigsby one. Hopefully I'll find one here that's set up. I have no idea. <laughs> God bless it. Let me see. These are I've have I I've never used a mic one. Let's use a mic one. Um, yeah, let's see. Sign is uh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Um, okay. But now I'm trying to remember how to do this. How do I do this? Do I do this? Oh, I can't remember how to do this now. This sucks. Um, the default is displayed. Ah, no, no, no. Uh, for this game. Okay, fine. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Sorry. I, I, I always forget that you can do this. So. I beg you pardon. Now you be nice to guys for a minute. You wait for me. Let's do uh, let's do Yankee Stadium from um, MLB The Show. I think that would be kind of neat, kind of weird, kind of fun. Ooh, night game, yuck. Um, oh, that one's kind of nice, isn't it? Sorry. I'm just trying to find something that looks cool since we got to play in Yankee Stadium. Oh, I like that one. Let's do this one. Okay, use this day. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'd like it to be permanent. Why not? And let's do it as a night, in case this is a night game. Yep, boink, there we go. Let's see. Will this work? Yep. All right. So they're going against Lou Burdett. So we've got a little line versus lefties. Bonk. And let's get the pitcher. All right. Whitey Ford, Lou Burdett. Let's go to the house that Ruth built. Slash Deep Gaming with us. And I'm going to figure out why I'm not getting any game sound. This is weird. And I don't think it's coming through for you guys either now. What the hell's going on? This is awful. Weird, weird, weird. Give me a sec, guys. Technical problems here. <laughs> and I am not getting any crowd noise at all. Oh, this sucks. There we go. That's better. All right. Welcome to Yankee Stadium. We're going to see Lou Burdett at 7-4 and four against the chairman of the board, Whitey Ford, 7-5 and five for him. Both of these guys rather inflated ERA. Uh, Lou Burdett um, with a 6.41. Whitey Ford a little better at 4.45. So um, Whitey Ford, this is his third start against Hagerstown, 1-1 one one with a 6.23 earned on average against them. Um, and for Lou Burdett, this is his first go around against Manchester, one and one. So let's get to it. And I'm going to have to set this up really quickly. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Oh, uh, that's what you get. This is fun, though. It's a Zen exercise, and we can talk about what's coming up then. Again, uh, just a reminder for everybody we are coming up to the end of season two of, um, Fields of Dreams Baseball. Ugh, what a bloody mess this is. Uh, well, it won't take long. Um, also, 
basketball fans. It is starting hoop uh, court dreams basketball. So um, if you're a fan and you want to play some basketball, you want to tune in. I think they've already got all the owners they need. Um, but uh, let everybody know if you're interested in the Discord. Anyhow, there's also talk of a uh, a gridiron dreams as well. So football fans, there you go. So that is coming up. As I've already announced, um, the Ned McGreevy League is going to be on a bit of a hiatus just for the time being. Want to have these new leagues have their um, chance to do their thing. And I think, again, it would just be, let's put the shortstop over the shortstop. I think it would just be too much right now to um, to have, like, you know, a, another, you know, two baseball leagues and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's going to be a modified McGreevy thing, as I've already talked about. And uh, be with Bernie and I will be doing it. And we'll let you know when that happens. But uh, when, when, uh, I don't want, you know, it's going it, to, I think I really do. I think it's going to be a lot for people to be dealing with two baseball leagues. I think that's enough right there. So, um, and, you know, basketball especially doesn't seem to get a lot of love. Um, not a lot of content creators doing basketball. So I think it'd be kind of nice to see Dr. James Naismith's game uh, get gets some wider love on the uh on the old interwebs here. I think this is set up decent enough, except for the pitcher. Be nice to have him up there. And uh, let's move this up here and move this up here. And what a pain in the arse this is, and we're ready to go. All right. All right, leading off, my favorite of all time, Hannes Wagner. Wagner hitting 299, 22 home runs, 88 runs batted in. Steve Tate joining us, the co-commissioner of all three of the baseball, basketball, and football um, extravaganzas. Whitey Ford, ready to go now. The 2-0 pitch coming into the Flying Dutchman. Have a beautiful day here at Yankee Stadium. And we're underway. Wagner swings. This one scorched up the middle. Base hit. This one past Paul Molitor. Just too much spin on that ball. And Wagner is aboard. So they're calling that a poor play by Molitor, but I think Wagner just got some good wood on that, as Ernie Harwell would say. Wagner having an absolutely crazy season on the base paths. From the season from which he was drafted, had 57 steals. He has stolen 59, but those home run numbers are insane. So he had six uh, in the season for which he was drafted, but he has 22. All right, Shane Mack now steps to the plate here. For the Braves, Mack hitting 282, 15 home runs, 47 runs batted in. And Downing is going to be watching Wagner closely. Ford with a check of the runner. There's the pitch. Wagner off of the pitch. Downing throws down the slide. And Hannes Wagner has stolen his 60th base. So the Hagerstown Braves. Um. Right now with a runner in scoring position, Shane Mack back in the box. Here's the 0-1. And this one just cuts the plate in half. So one away, Shane Mack goes down swinging. And here comes Hammer and Hank. Aaron hitting 288, 41 home runs, 125 runs batted in. Whitey Ford peers over his right shoulder at the Flying Dutchman. Wagner with a pretty good lead off second. Here's the old one to Hank Aaron. Fastball. Aaron cuts on this one. Grounded a third. Boyer feels it handily onto George Sisler for the 5 3 put out. Wagner stays put at the Keystone Sack, and it brings up Kirby Puckett. May his memory be eternal. Puckett hitting 288, seven home runs, 36 runs batted in. Whitey Ford deals the 2 0 pitch. Curveball to Puckett. Fly ball center field. Roush ranging in, and he will make the catch. So, a runner left in scoring position. We head to the bottom of the first, and the Hagerstown Braves nothing, and the Manchester Red Bulls coming to bat. Let's look at the starting defense here. We forgot to do that at the top of the inning. So, in left field for these Hagerstown Braves, we have Shane Mack. In center, Hank Aaron. In right, Kirby Puckett. Around the horn from first to third, Dale Murphy, Glenn Beckard, Hannes Wagner, Heine Zimmerman, and catching Joe Torrey. 
and then we'll look at uh, Manchester week at the top of the second. Uh, hopefully, uh, Buckshot's going to be coming back to do some games. We miss him. We miss him. All right, Brett Butler will lead things off here in the top of the first, or the bottom of the first, for Manchester. He is the DH tonight. Butler, uh, right now, is hitting 287 with eight home runs, 34 runs batted in. All right, lefty-lefty matchup, or I'm sorry, righty-lefty matchup. Burdette deals, and Brett Butler scorches this one up the middle for a base hit. So starts the bottom of the first, much the same as Wagner started the top of the first. And here's the great Tony Gwynn. So Gwynn hitting 343, 13 home runs, and 59 runs batted in. Butler at first with 33 steals on the season. Joe Torre, average arm behind the plate. Burdett has the sign, throws over, and Butler back. Gets up, dusts himself off. Burdett has the sign again from Joe Torre. Here's the 2-1. Fastball. There it goes. Butler hit and run was on. Base hit up the middle. Aaron has it. Butler round second, and he's going to make third easily. Beautifully executed hit and run play there by a great contact hitter, Tony Gwynn. All right. This brings up Brian Downing now. Downing at a 272 clip, seven home runs, 53 runs batted in. Burdett from the stretch, and he 0 1 to Downing. Curveball and swung on. Bouncer to short Wagner to Beckert to Murphy, but Butler scores and Manchester out to an early lead here. 1 nothing in the bottom of the first. Two away now. For Stan, the man usual, <clears throat> this man is a veritable beast anywhere he plays. <clears throat> right now, hitting a 321, 20, oh my God, these are hard to read, 26 home runs, 124 runs batted in. Nothing like red on black. I do the same thing, though. The 0-1 to Musial, curveball, and this one scores to right, and Musial is going to be in there with a two-bagger, his 44th of the season, baseball fans. And it brings up another one of my all-time favorite players, the great George Sisler. Sisler, 291, two home runs, and 46 runs batted in. Musial at second. Stan the man with seven steals. Two away, bottom of the first, one nothing. Manchester lead. 2-0. Curveball. And this one pops straight up behind the plate. Torrey, just outside the batter's box, will make the catch for out number three. But one run on three hits, no errors. We head to the top of the second inning. The Manchester Red Bolts won. The Hagerstown Braves, nothing. The starting defense for these Manchester Red Bolts in left field, Stan Musial. In center, Ed Rausch. And right, Tony Gwynn. At first base, George Sisler. At second, Paul Molitor. At shortstop, Ray Chapman. At third base, Cleet Boyer. Behind the plate, Brian Downing. All right, Heine Zimmerman, the hot corner man for Hagerstown, will lead things off. Zimmerman hitting 217, five home runs, 35 runs batted in. Slight breeze here at Yankee Stadium out to right field at three miles per hour. Otherwise, what a beautiful day in the Bronx. Whitey Ford deals the 0-2 pitch to Zimmerman. Fastball, oh, strike three called. So Whitey Ford picks up his second K of the game, one away for Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy hitting 239, five home runs, 18 runs batted in. So Murphy underperforming quite a bit this season. Ford count even a two and two change up. And look at this one. He looks at a called strike three. So that's K number three for the chairman of the board, two away for Kent Herbeck. Herbeck, the DH acquired from the Minnesota Twins, hitting 235, three home runs, seven runs batted in. Whitey Ford into the wind in the 1-0. Change up to Herbeck. Long fly ball to right. And Gwynn back on it short of the track. Makes the catch for the third out. They go in order. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It's the Red Bolts one. And the Braves nothing. Yes, he did, Robert. Hondas definitely, definitely had some wheels. All right. 700 and some stolen bases. He's up there. He's, he's up there. He certainly did. And had power, too. Paul Molitor now two steps to the plate. Molitor hitting 219, two home runs, 40 runs batted in for Molitor. 
Molitor underperforming, um, hit 322 um, in the season in which he was drafted. Burdett deals. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Change up. Molitor swings. This one, base hit center field. Aaron up with it and hesitates on his throw. Molitor turns on the Jets, and they're going to call that one a double. So that's 16 doubles for Paul Molitor on the season. So a runner in scoring position. And Manchester looking for more as Hall of Fame center fielder Ed Roush steps to the plate. Roush hitting 333, 18 home runs, 73 runs batted in. So high home run numbers for these dead ball guys, surprisingly high. 3 0 pitch to Roush, fastball. And Roush will take an amble down to first base. Although Steve said, with how this is working, to expect a little bit more. Um, pop from the, the dead ball guys Wagner with as we said 22 home runs so kind of fun to see the dead ball guys knocking a few around the yard all right Paul Molitor at second Ed Roush at first nobody down for third baseman Cleet Boyer Cleet Boyer hitting it a 252 clip he's knocked six out of the park and 29 runs batted in Burdett deals the count two and one curveball and this one laced to center base hit Aaron up with a Molitor will score Boyer Picking up the RBI double, and that's his 12th double over all of the season. And Manchester adds another tally to the board. It's two to nothing. Manchester still thinks that there's a mathematical hope. Uh, no one really has the heart to tell Manchester that it's been eliminated, and we'll just keep having fun. All right. A tough team, though, both of these teams. Ray Chapman now. So glad to see Ray Chapman being able to still play, hitting 266. He has seven home runs, 54 runs batted in. Ed Roush at third, Cleet Boyer trailing at second, Brett Butler on deck, and we're about to swing around to the top of the order. Still nobody out. Burdett in some trouble here. Two in scoring position from the stretch and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball to Chapman. Fly ball, shallow center, Aaron coming in, making a great catch, tagging the plate. The plate's going to be close, but it's a bad throw. It gets away. Joe Torrey's got to chase it down. The run will score. Tenth error for Hank Aaron. So what a great catch in center field, but uh, not able to make the play at home. It is 3-0 Manchester. And here's Brett Butler, who singled his first time up. One away, Tony Gwynn waits on deck. Cleet Boyer just 90 feet away with a possible fourth run. Burdett deals the 3-0 pitch to Butler. Fastball. And Butler looks at ball four. And that's the second walk issued by Lou Burdett. Tony Gwynn is one for one. Beautiful hit and run play that sent Brett Butler all the way to third back in the first inning. Burdett from the stretch in the 0-2 pitch. Curveball. And Tony Gwynn looks at a call at strike three. Super Debt strikes out his first in the game. Two away now for Brian Downing. Downing last time grounded into a double play, but Brett Butler was able to score at that time, giving Manchester its first run. Burdett deals. And Downing, there's the throw down. Butler was off to the races. And with two outs, Brett Butler steals base number 34 to in scoring position as Manchester playing some aggressive baseball with two out and a three-run lead. Burdett from the stretch again. Downing cuts on this one. Line drive base hit left field. And Boyer will score. Butler will round third, and he will score. And it is five to nothing. And we'll probably be zooming this game after this inning. All right. Downing at first, two away, the 2-1 pitch. Fastball, mutual grounder to second. Becker, quick release onto Murphy for the out. But four runs, three hits, one error, two complete. Manchester five and the Braves nothing. So in the top of the third, if the Braves do not score, we'll zoom ahead to some innings. And move it right along. All right. Glenn Becker hitting 277. Uh, with three home runs, 34 runs batted in. Joe Torre waits on deck, and Hannes Wagner in the hole, as they used to say. Whitey Ford has struck out three thus far tonight. Chairman of the board, one-two pitch, fastball, and this one lays the left, base hit. Beckard makes the wide turn and holds at first. Not going to run on stand the man there, shallow. 
All right, Beckert um, with just three steals this season. And here's Joe Torrey. Torrey hitting pretty well, the 312, five home runs, 25 runs batted in. Limited action for Torrey. Four deals. Here's the 0-1. Fastball. Torrey cuts on this. Fly ball center field. Ed Rouse should have no trouble picking that one out of the air. One up, one down. Beckert retreats to first. And we're back at the top of the order for Hannes Wagner. Wagner opened the game with a single up the middle. 2-2 pitch to the Dutchman. Curveball. Bouncer to first. Sissler will take it. Sissler's going to go to Chapman. Chapman back to Sissler for the double play. And Warren Spawn will come in to pitch. All right. Bottom of the third. And we're going to go ahead and move this. Move it along here. All right. As soon as I remember. Where, oh, there we go. Quick. Zoom. Let's go to the end of the fifth. Yes, yes. Um, this one is pretty much done. Red Bolts, nine. Uh, Braves, one. So we're going to go ahead and just finish this one completely. Wow, first time back broadcasting, and there we go. Look what happens. All right, and... Oh my God. So 11 to one, not even all of Robert's ninth inning magic could have helped uh, the Hagerstown Braves. So they go to 80 and 75 and Manchester 80 and 74. Burdett tagged with a loss. He goes seven and five. Whitey Ford with the win. He goes to eight and five. Let's see what they did as far as pitching. So Hagerstown used Lou Burdett. Um, two innings, five runs all earned. Uh, Warren Spahn came in, uh, worked five innings, gave up five runs. Only one run was earned. So Hagerstown with four errors in this game. Ouch. Demery came in. Uh, Frank Demery came in, worked uh, an inning, gave up three hits and an earned run. Whitey Ford goes the distance, nine innings pitched, gave up one earned run and struck out four. Wow. Nasty, nasty with the errors, huh? So let's see who did it, who did it, who did it. Uh, so Glenn Beckert with two in the game. Hank Aaron had one, Joe Torrey, and then George Sisler. Um, and your MVP is Whitey Ford. What a slaughter uh, for the Manchester Red Bull. Stan Musial goes two for five with two doubles. George Sisler, three for four with a double. Paul Molitor, three for five with a double. So um, a rather inauspicious game there. And an auspicious start for me back into broadcasting. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. We're going to go ahead and sim Cleveland and Teville. And Teville takes care of Cleveland three to one. Let me see if we have anything interesting coming up on Sunday, any contender games. And if we do, we'll do one of those. Let me see. So Chico's would certainly like a win against San Francisco. And where's Lehigh? And Lehigh's playing the D-Gens. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to go ahead and auto this out because Liverpool's already locked this one up. And Liverpool's not going to really be helping anybody in this game. So Liverpool defeats Berlin 6-3. Let's go on to the 21st, and then I'll be handing this off. All right, I'm going to let you guys vote. This is what we have on Le Menu. We don't have any direct. Let's see. Do we have Tampa Bay, Hadley Lake? Um, so Hadley Lake is probably going to pick up a, a good, an easy win against my team. So uh, Hadley Lake could gain some ground. Tampa Bay is playing the Amazings. I'm going to let you guys decide. You can see here. You pick the game. Hopefully, um, a contender. So Lehigh. We'll, we'll start with with the important games here. Um, so Lehigh is playing the D-Gens, and they hold a an eight-game lead on Chico's. Chico's is playing San Francisco, um, and Tampa Bay is playing the Amazing. So those are kind of the meaningful games right now. Yeah, Manchester, how about it? And let's see, in Hadley Lake, we could also do Hadley Lake. Carpathian, Hadley Lake, all right, you got it. That's what we'll do, and I'm, of course, not going to manage my own team. Uh, Carpathian is going to look like it's going to finish fourth as it did last year with almost the same record, but except we're really getting killed. Wow. 20 and a half out sucks. All right, here we go. Let's play. All right. Um, all 
right. And it's going to be against Joe McGinnity. He has been, oh, I see Ian Kinsler's out for the Hammers um, until the 25th. So we're looking for him to return on Tuesday. All right, Hadley Lake going up against McGinnity. And I guess we have to fix that. Match up, Chief Bender and Joe McGinnity. Let's go. All right, we are at Turner Field for tonight's game between the Carpathian Wolves and Hadley Lake. And it's going to be Joe McGinnity, a super disappointing season for McGinnity. He was my ace last year. McGinnity at 9-14 and 14 with a 4.98. Chief Bender, um, not a great record either, 6-7, and 4.38. So the dead ball pitchers, some of them getting rocked. Other guys like Christy Matthews and Rube Waddell are just tearing it up. Let's get to the action on the field. All right, so here we go. The starting defense for the Hadley Lake Hammers out there in left field, Tommy Davis. In center, Ty Cobb. And right field, Bobby Bonds. At first base, there's the Sarge, Rudy York. And uh, we'll talk about Rudy a little bit when uh, he comes up as far as that home, those home run numbers. And uh, his batting average, crazy. Delano to Shields is at second. It's shortstop, Don Kessinger. At third base, Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose, Jim Sundberg is catching. Chief Bender on the mound. As we said, Chief Bender, 6-7. and seven. He's fanned 111 and walked 55. The league is hitting 245 against him. Leading off here is Marquise Grissom for the Wolves. Hitting 250, two home runs. Bender ready to work. The 1-1 pitch here, and we got another beautiful day for baseball. And Grissom lines this one to right field. Bobby Bonds up with it. Grissom aboard. And here comes old scrap iron, Phil Garner. Very, very important part of that. We are family Pittsburgh Pirates team. Uh, seven home runs in the season for scrap iron, hitting 250 with 55 runs batted in. Grissom at first with 12 steals. Sunberg a cannon for an arm behind the plate. Bender checks the runner. And the 1-0 delivery. Spitball. There goes Grissom. The hit and run was on to Shields. Well, double up. Grissom. Oh, my goodness. They had the hit and run on, and Grissom gets doubled up. So quickly now, two away. Bender, a doff of the cap to his infield as Moise Lou steps in. So Lou hitting 247, so underperforming. Uh, as well as the rest of this Carpathian Wolves squad. 13 home runs, 63 runs batted in. Have a great night as well, Robert. Thank you for coming in and hanging out for a while. Chief Bender with the 1-0 delivery to Alou. And Alou lines this one right to Don Kessinger at short, and that will retire the side. The Wolves manage to get doubled up. We go to the bottom of the first. The Wolves nothing, and the Hammers coming to bat. All right, the starting defense here for the Carpathian Wolves in left field, Moises Lou, In center, Marquise Grissom. and right, Dave Parker. At first base, Rich Reese. At second, Phil Garner. At short, Leo Cardenas. At third base, Robin Ventura behind the plate. Brian McCann and Joe McGinnity on the mound. McGinnity um, with 137 strikeouts and 78 walks. League hitting 280 against McGinnity as Ty Cobb steps in and that famous split grip. So Cobb hitting 350, 363, 22 home runs, 81 runs batted in. McGinnity deals the 1-1 pitch. Cobb swings. Bouncer to Cardenas at short. Cardenas will fire onto Reese, and the throw is offline, but Reese able to stay close to that ball to prevent Cobb from moving to second. So the 23rd error for Cardenas on the season, and Hadley Lake, just like that, has a dangerous runner on at first. Cobb has stolen 54 on the season. Here's Bobby Bonds, 204, 8, 
uh, two, yeah, 204 average, eight home runs, 22 runs batted in. McCann sets up. Iron Man McGinnity deals. There goes Cobb. McCann comes up, gun in the throw down. The tag not in time. 55th theft for Ty Cobb in the season. And Hadley Lake with a runner in scoring position. McGinnity deals to Bobby Bonds. The 0-1 changeup. Bonds swings. Hard comeback to the mound. McGinnity fields on to reach for out number one. Cobb remains at second. Here's Pete Rose hitting 274. Four round trippers, 31 runs batted in. McGinnity deals the 1 0. Rose cuts in this fastball, base hit, left field. Cobb will come around and score as Alou fires into Robin Ventura. It's 1 0 Hammers. So we wanted to talk about Rudy York. Uh, Rudy York has 48 home runs and a 213 average. So one might say Rudy York in this league is the very first Dave Kingman. Um, for a while in this league, Rudy York with a ton of home runs, but was hitting below the Mendoza line. So, but his slash line, 213, 48, 112. The 0 2 pitch from McGinnity to York, fastball in there on the outside corner for steer strike three. So, two down, McGinnity picks up the strikeout. And here's Rafael Palmero, designated hitter, hitting 245. He has 11 home runs, 53 runs batted in. McGinnity deals. And Palmero, this one just a little pop fly. Cardenas going out on it. And at the edge of the infield dirt, makes the catch for the final out. One run, one hit, one error. And we've played one. It's Hadley Lake one and Carpathian Wolves nothing. Dave Parker now steps into the plate. So Parker hitting 274. He's got 21 home runs, 99 runs batted in for the Cobra. Bender deals the count full. And Dave Parker will draw the walk. So Parker aboard and 20 steals in the season for Parker. Here comes Rich Reese. The 0-1 pitch now to Reese. Reese cuts on this one. Line drive, base hit. Reese going for two, and he is in there for his 28th double. Parker at third, two in scoring position for the Carpathian Wolves here in the top of the second. And it brings up Robin Ventura. Ventura hitting 212 with three home runs, 17 runs batted in for him. Bender deals the count one and one. Fastball to Ventura. He swings, fly ball to right. This should get a run in. Bonds has it. Tagging and scoring from third is Dave Parker. And in the top of the second, the Wolves tie it up. So one away, Rich Reese in scoring position at second for the catcher, Brian McCann hitting 242. McCann with 14 home runs, 57 runs batted in. Bender with the 0-1 pitch, fastball, McCann swings, dribble up the first base line. York will take it to the bag himself. Rich Reese moves to third on the play. Two away for the shortstop, Leo Cardenas. Cardenas hitting 238 uh, with four home runs and 36 runs batted in. Bender with the 1-0 delivery, fastball. Cardenas swings, base hit, left field. Rich Reese will score. Cardenas picks up the RBI and the Wolves with an early 2-1 lead. So and that will bring up Manny Sanguian. Sanguian, the DH in this game. Uh, 244 average for Sanguian. Has a home run, 40 runs batted in for Manny. Two away. Bender with the pitch. There goes Cardenas. The throw down by Sunberg. And you cannot run on Jim Sunberg. So the Wolves throw themselves out of the inning, but do pick up two runs and two hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Carpathian Wolves two, the Hadley Lake Hammers one. Hadley Lake will send up Tommy Davis, Delano DeShields, and Jim Sunberg. And Bernie is asking about a horse racing league. Telling you what, <clears throat> Bernie, really quickly. Um, geez, what year is this? So seven years ago, seven years ago, we used to get together every Sunday evening. For me, it was late Sunday night because I was in Europe. Uh, the two Earls did um, Apple horse racing, and we had everybody. I mean, everybody, everybody. Um, you guys really should think about doing something like that. Um, I don't know who would do it or what have you, but we, I mean, our Red Sox was fan was there. Jester was there. Sports Time Machine was there. Um, lower Slower Board Gaming, a.k.a. Chris Delaware. Um, it was just crazy. It was it was the thing to do on Sunday nights. 
Um, and they use Apple Horse, Apple Horse Racing, the cards and dice one with the really cool, like pewter metal horses, whatever, all painted up. It was so much fun. All right. Tommy Davis in the box. Davis hitting 249, 15 home runs, 73 runs batted in. Joe McGinnity with a 1 1 pitch, fastball to Davis. Bouncer up the middle, Garner ranging to his right, bare hands it and fires to Rich Reese with a 4 3 put out. One out for Delano DeShields. DeShields hitting 238, a home run, 16 runs batted in. McGinnity with a 1 2 delivery to DeShields. And DeShields takes this curveball and slaps it to left for a base hit. Second hit for the Hammers in this game, one away. And it brings up Jim Sunberg, the man you don't want to run on. 229 average, five home runs, 30 runs batted in. McGinnity deals. The old one. Sunberg swings and he line drive. And this one is going to be a two bagger for Jim Sunberg. DeShields will stop a third, eighth double for Sunberg. So two in scoring position. McGinnity in trouble now with Don Kessinger up. Kessinger hitting 224, two home runs, 47 runs batted in. McCann sets the target, McGinnity, from the stretch in the 2-0. Fastball to Kessinger. Grounder, and this is going to be Garner to Reese. Coming in to score will be Delino to Shields. And the Hammers tied up in the bottom of the second. So Ty Cobb, we're back at the top of the order. He is 0-1, 2-2 two, two, your score, two down here. And Cobb was safe on a throwing error last time. McGinnity from the stretch, the 0-1 to the Georgia Peach. Fastball, long fly ball to center, and Grissom leaps and makes the catch at the wall for out number three. But Hadley Lake uh, ties it up with a run, two hits, no errors, two in the books, and it's two to two. A little breeze blowing in from right field, one mile per hour as Manny Sanguian is in the box now. Same game was at bat when um, the Carpathian Wolves threw themselves out of the inning. Ah, stole themselves out of the inning. The one-two pitch. Fastball, Sanguin, routine fly ball, center field. Cobb reeling it in. One up, one down for Marquise Grissom. We are back at the top of the order. Grissom singled back in the first. Bender deals. Curveball and line drive. Single up the middle. Grissom thought about two, but holds at first. So the Wolves with a runner at first. Grissom, 20, or 12 steals on the season, brings up Phil Garner. Scrap iron lined out to second, and that's when Grissom was doubled up. The one-two pitch. Grissom does not go. Garner sends this one. Fly ball to left. Tommy Davis making the easy catch. Grissom wisely gets back to first. Two away here. In the Carpathian third and brings up Moises Alou. Alou lined to short back in the first. Bender deals. Alou first pitch swinging. And there was a pitch out. Grissom, discretion the better part of Valor not going. Now throw the throw over. Grissom back. Bender good move to first. Alou swings in the fastball and misses. No runs, one hit, no errors. We go to the bottom of the third in a much better ball game. We are knotted at two. And Bobby Bonds, Pete Rose, and Rudy York do up. Bonds grounded back to McGinnity his last time up. Iron Man deals the 1-1. Fastball to Bonds. Grounder. Garner with the, with the errant throw to Reese. Reese able to corral the ball and keep Bobby Bonds at first. And that error is going to be charged to scrap iron. Should have been a routine 4-3 put out. So error number 16 for Garner at second. And Bobby Bonds, no stranger to the stolen base, has 20 on the season. Pete Rose is one for one. Um, he picked up the RBI double that scored Ty Cobb. McGinnity deals. And there goes Bobby Bonds, McCann up gunning, and Bobby Bonds picks up his 21st stolen base. <clears throat> so Brian McCann obviously not on the keeper list for uh, the Carpathian Wolves. That three arm back there is a liability. He has durability, but that is about it. All right, here's McGinnity, the 0-1. Rose cuts in a curveball, and this one lined right back to McGinnity. 
beautiful play and spins around and almost caught Bobby Bonds. Bobby Bonds gets back to second. All right, one away, and here's Rudy York struck out back in the first. A ton of home runs for him. Here's the pitch to York. First pitch swinging, high fly ball to center field, and you can kiss it goodbye. Two-run shot for old Sergeant York, and just like that, the Hadley Lake Hammers are up 4-2. to two. All right, brings up Rafael Palmero, popped a short back in the first. D. Scott Howard, welcome in. Small crowd tonight, but a nice one. Thanks for coming in, my friend. 0-2 to Palmero, roller to short. Cardenas, this is going to be close at first. And they get Rafael Palmero by a blade of grass. Two down. Tommy Davis now batting into number six. Slot is 0 for 1 in the contest. Grounded to second, back in the second. D. Scott used to come to those horse races we used to do here, too, in the community. Grounder to Ventura. Plenty of time. Fires under Rich Reese to retire. Tommy Davis, but two runs on the Rudy York bomb. One error, and we've played three. It's four to two in favor of the Hadley Lake Hammers. Chief Bender will face Dave Parker, Rich Reese, and Robin Ventura. David Lando says he should have kept uh, York and Palmero. How about it? Keeper list. I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep anybody on my team. I should try this time drafting from like two whole new teams, man. I'm telling you. Pretty bad. I, I think I'm going to keep Dave Parker. All right. Anyhow, the Cobra walked back in the second. Bender brings it. Parker first pitch swinging on this curveball high and deep and open the window. Aunt Minnie, the Carpathian Wolves get one back. Dave Parker goes yard. I guess he wants to keep his job. His 22nd home run of the season. That went 346 feet. And I've got to fix this because I'm keeping Willie Keeler on, and I noticed the Keeler's not in the lineup. So I'm going to have to fix that for next year. All right, here's Rich Reese. He is one for one. Reese batting in the number five slot for the Wolves. Uh, doubled back in the second. Chief Bender with the 0-2 pitch to Reese. Fastball, cut on. Fly ball right field, and Bobby Bonds will pull it out for out number one. Here's Robin Ventura. Ventura with a sacrifice RBI that scored Dave Parker back in the second. Bender deals the one-two pitch. Fastball for a strike three. So two down. Now for Brian McCann. So McCann in this game grounded to first. He does have 14 home runs, but uh, meh. Weak arm back there. One-two pitch. First time I've seen my team in ages. Grounder back to Bender. Bender to York, and that will retire the side. But a run, thanks to the Dave Parker round tripper. There were no errors. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Hadley Lake Hammers four. Carpathian Wolves three. Delano to Shields. Jim Sunberg and Don Kessinger do up for Hadley Lake. To Shields singled back in the second. <coughs> Joe McGinnity thus far with a strikeout. 3-0 pitch, and he loses to Shields. Fastball missing just outside, and Delano is aboard. To Shields with 14 steals. Rudy, don't take your gun to town. How about it? David Lando saying goodbye, Mr. Spalding. I watched uh, The Natural last night, and so love to hear David channeling that one. All right, McGinnity throws over to Shields, dives back under Rich Reese's tag. McGinnity brings the 0-1 home. Curveball, this one bunted, and McCann will fire onto Garner, covering on the play. Shields will move to second on the sacrifice. One away now for the shortstop, Don Kessinger. So he grounded out last time, and Shields scored. And the throw back, and they do not get to Shields. Good move by McGinnity, but Shields not falling for it. 1-1 one, one pitch. Kessinger cuts on a curveball, roller up the first base line, and Rich Reese will take it to the bag himself for the second out of the inning. Shields moves to third. So potential fifth Hadley Lake run just 90 feet away, and it brings up the great Ty Cobb. We're back at the top of the order for the Hammers. 
Cobb has grounded out and he has flown out. First inning when he grounded out, he was actually safe on an error from the stretch in the pitch. Cobb sends this to left. Alou tracks it at the warning track, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Four in the books here. And it's the Hammers four and the Wolves three. So, again, a beautiful day here at Turner Field. And that little one-mile-per-hour breeze has calmed down. Chief Bender thus far has fanned two, struck out one. Leo Cardenas, one for one. He singled back in the second in an RBI that scored Rich Reese. Bender with the 0-2 delivery to Cardenas. Fastball. And this one, a hard grounder to Rudy York. Plenty of time. Waving off Bender. Takes it to the bag himself. One down now for baseball being very, very good to me. Manny Sanguian, who fly to deep right center back in the third. Chief Bender with the 0-2. Sanguian, little bouncer to DeShields at second. Easy textbook. 4-3 put out. Two up, two down now. Marquise Grissom having a good day at the plate. Two for two with two singles. Bender into the wind and the pitch. Curveball. Grissom swings. Fly ball left field. Davis ranging in and to his left will make the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Hadley Lake Hammers four and the Carpathian Wolves three. Better than the 11-1 fiasco we had in game one of this uh, two this two game, this doubleheader bit we're doing. Bobby Bonds leading it off here. The number two, three, four hitters do up for the Hammers. Bonds 0 for 2. He was safe in the throwing error, though, back in the third. McGinnity deals to Bonds. Change up. Fly ball. Grissom back at the wall. Makes the catch. So it's the second time in the game Grissom has uh, saved an extra base hit. Here's Pete Rose. Charlie Hustle, one for two. Has an RBI in the game. Last time up, he lined out to the pitcher. McGinnity with the 3-0 delivery. That change up misses, and Rose is aboard. We talked about Rudy York in this game. Tons of home runs, low batting average. Well, Rudy York in this game, a two-run shot back in the third. McGinnity deals. There goes Pete Rose. McCann fires down, and they're not going to get Pete Rose. Seventh stolen base for Charlie Hustle in the season. York back in the box now. Here's the pitch. And York cuts and misses. So the second time he struck out in this game, McGinnity fans his second two away for Rafael Palmero over two. He is popped to short and grounded to short. McGinnity deals. Here's the 0-1 fastball. Palmero swings. And this one sinking liner to center. Playing it on the hop is Grissom. And Rose rounding third to throw to the plate. Not in time. Hadley Lake picks up some insurance. It is now 5-3. to three. So Pete Rose uh, doing one of the things that he did best, and that was some good hustle there. All right, Palmero on at first, and Tommy Davis strides to the plate, 0 for 2. He's grounded out to second and to third. The 1-0 pitch, fastball cut on up the middle. Garner will go to Rich Reese for the out, but a big run scores for the Hadley Lake Hammers on a hit, no errors. Five in the books here at Turner Field. It's the Hammers five and the Wolves three. So late inning reminder again. Uh, Court Dreams Basketball League is going to be starting up for you basketball fans. Uh, so keep an eye on that in the Discord. It'll be, of course, I don't know who will be. I know Steve will be broadcasting games and whatever other broadcasters they have doing that. There's also talk for you football fans if you're interested in a Gridiron Dreams League as well. So that's coming up. And as I announced, uh, the McGreevy League, we're going to put it on a uh, on a hold, and instead Bernie and I are going to do another little experiment instead. But do support, please. Court Dreams and Gridiron Dreams going to be a lot of fun. If you're interested in Gridiron Dreams, that one is still forming. I do believe they have all the owners for the basketball one. But for football, if you guys are interested, get in the Discord. Let Steve Tate know. And, of course, we're coming up on the uh, – the end of the regular season here and Field of Dreams baseball. And then uh, probably in a few weeks, we'll be in season three. So a lot of sports going on in our community, guys. Make sure to check it out, okay? 
All right. Bender deals the 2-2 pitch. And Scrap Iron sends a routine fly ball to Tommy Davis in left field. One up, one down. For Moises Alou, Alou 0 for 2. He's lined short and struck out. Chief Bender, count full on Alou. Change up, misses down. And Bender issues the walk. Alou at first. Only six steals for him. Dave Parker, one for one, had a home run back in the fourth, walked in the second. Chief Bender with a 2-0 delivery to the Cobra. Curveball swung on, and this one will make the seats on the right-hand side. Bender ready to bring it home again to Parker. And there's the throw down. Alou actually stole a base against Jim Sundberg. Seven steal for Alou in the season. So the Wolves trying to get at least one back here in the top of the sixth. Runner in scoring position now. The Cobra back in the box. Bender deals the 2-2 pitch. Curveball, base hit, left field. And Cobb and Davis converge. Cobb gets to the ball, fires to third. Nowhere for Lou to go. He's going to stay at third. Dave Parker at first. Parker has stolen 20 this season. Rich Reese, one for two, doubled back in the second, flew out to right in the fourth. Sunberg out to have a quick word to Chief Bender, back behind the plate. Bender with a 1-1 pitch from the set position. Curveball to Reese. Reese swings, grounder up the first base line. It'll be York to Kessinger. They will not turn two. Moises Liu will score, and the Wolves indeed get one back. It's 5-4. to four. So they're going to make Hadley Lake work for it. At least that's what it looks like now here in the top of the sixth. Robin Ventura now at the plate. He had a sacrifice RBI that scored Dave Parker back in the second, and he struck out in the fourth. Rich Reese at first base, not known for his base stealing prowess, just two larcenies in the season. Chief Bender deals the 3-1, fastball missing outside. So 2-1, Rich Reese at second, Ventura trailing him at first for Brian McCann. He's grounded out twice. Chief Bender, the count even, 2-2. Fastball to McCann, fly ball. This should end the inning. Cobb ranging in and gets it in shallow center. And we will indeed allow Bob Miller to pitch. So Bob Miller comes on and he will face Delano DeShields, Jim Sunberg, and Don Kessinger. Bob Miller's numbers look like this. Uh, a 4.48 earned on average, eight wins, four losses, a save. He worked 146 and two thirds. Um, he walked 58, struck as walked 58, struck out 57. League hitting 290 against him. The whip 1.541. DeShields one for one in the game. He is singled and walked. Miller with a 3 2 pitch. And that one missing low and away. And Delano DeShields is aboard. For Jim Sunberg, who is one for one, he has a double and a sacrifice. Miller checks the runner, and Sunberg lays down the bunt, fires on to Garner. Sacrifice successful to Shields in scoring position as number nine hitter Don Kessinger steps up. The shortstop has himself a little RBI action back in the second that scored Delano to Shields. De Shields in the season with 14 steals. McCann, not a strong arm behind the dish. Wouldn't be surprised to see De Shields going with one out. Let's see what happens. The 2 2 pitch to Kessinger. Oh, look at that. Swing and a miss. So Bob Miller picks up a strikeout, two down, and we're back at the top of the order for the Hammers and Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb was safe in a throwing error, and he's flown out twice. Bob Miller deals to the great lefty, the 2 2 pitch. Cobb swings, fly ball down the left field line, and that does it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six in the books here at Turner Field, and the Hadley Lake Hammers hold a 5-4 lead over the Wolves. The line for the Hammers, 5-5-0 five, five, and zero with five left on. For the Wolves, 4-6-2, and two, three left on. Leo Cardenas will lead things off, followed by Manny Sanguian and Marquise Grissom for the Carpathian Wolves. So Cardenas back in the second with an RBI single scored Rich Reese. Last time up, he grounded to first. 2-2 pitch. 
Fly ball, center field, Cobb under it, makes the catch. One up, one down, Manny Sanguian, nothing for two. 2-2 two -two pitch to Sanguian. Sanguian cuts on this. High pop fly in the infield, third base side. Rose and Kessinger converging. Rose calls off Kessinger and makes the catch. Two up, two down, Marquise Grissom. Two for three in the game. Flight out is last time up. Chief Bender with the 0-1 to Grissom. Grissom cuts on this, grounder to deep short. Kessinger backing up a few paces, uncorks it to Rudy York, and they go good morning, good afternoon, good night. Seventh inning stretch time, 5-4, to four, Hadley Lake over Carpathian Wolves. All right, we finish the strains to Bernie's favorite song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Bottom of the seventh action here, and it'll be the number two, three, four hitters for the Hammers, Barry, or Bobby Bonds, Pete Rose, and Rudy York. Bobby Bonds 0 for 3 in the game. Bob Miller stays on a relief, the 2-0 fastball to Bonds. High fly ball, left field, but down in the glove of Moises Alou. One up, one away. Pete Rose, one for two. Walked his last time up. Bob Miller with a one-two pitch. Fastball, Rose sends this one foul, and this will make the seats third base side. Rose back in the box. Miller deals, and Rose draws the walk. Second walk issued by Bob Miller in this game. He's worked one and one-third in relief, and it brings up Rudy York. Reork had that big home run that gave Hadley the Hadley Lake the lead back in the third. And Bob Miller with a 1-1 pitch to Rudy York. Fastball. And this one. This one gets by McCann, but McCann able to pounce on the ball. Pete Rose holds it first. So Bob Miller gets a break there. 2-1 pitch. There goes Rose. McCann comes up throwing the throw down, and they're not going to get Pete Rose. Second stolen base today is eighth on the season. You can run all day on Brian McCann. All right, runner in scoring position for Hadley Lake. One away, York back in the box. The pitch. And swing and a miss. And the faithful here at Turner Field did not like that call. All right, here's Rafael Palmero batting with two down on a runner in scoring position. Palmero with an RBI back in the fifth has scored the man at second. Palmero, first pitch swinging, curveball, fly ball into center field, and Reese will make the catch, or Grissom will make the catch. That retires the side and it runs. No hits, no errors. We go to the eighth, and your score remains five to four. And it will be Phil Garner, Moise Salou, and Dave Parker do up for the Carpathian Wolves. Scrap iron has flown out twice and lined out. That big double play. Bender deals. Garner, line drive, base hit, right field. <clears throat> so the Wolves with the tying runner aboard, the tying run aboard, and here comes Moises Lou. Lined out, struck out, and walked. Bender deals the 2 2 pitch. Fastball. A loose swings. Long fly ball to right, but at the corner, Bobby Bonds will make the catch. So one away, Garner back to first base. Dave Parker, two for two on the day, and a walk. Bender deals to the Cobra. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Garner off to the races. Little hit and run action going on. Garner high pop fly into foul territory. Third base side. Will it make the seats? Rose giving chase. And this will end up three rows back. Parker back in the box. And the throw over. Garner dives under the tag. He is safe. The 1-1. One -one. And the curveball just missing. Two aboard here for the Carpathian Wolves. Phil Garner now in scoring position at second. Brings up Rich Reese. Reese won for three in the contest. 
Bender deals. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Fastball. This one foul back. Bender brings it home again. Spitball. And nothing but saliva. Swing and a miss. Bender picks up strikeout number three. Two down. The Wolves with a chance to tie it up here. Looks like they might squander this. Robin Ventura 0 for 1 with a walk. Has an RBI in this game. Bender with the 1-1 pitch to Ventura. Fastball swung on. And a little fly ball out there to fairly deep right. Bobby Bonds will pull it down. And that will retire the side. And runs one hit, no errors. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It is 5-4, Hadley Lake. And Kent Takalvi will come into pitch for the Carpathian Wolves. Teak, 5-2 with 14 saves. John DFW, hey, good to see you, man. It indeed has been a minute. Tommy Davis, nothing for three. He is grounded out all three times. Teak deals that sidearm delivery comebacker to Colby on to Reese for the one three put out. One up, one down for Delano DeShields. One for one. He's walked twice. To Colby deals the 2 0. DeShields. Grounder at first, Reese will underhand toss two to call the covering for the three one put out. So two up, two down now for Jim Sunberg, one for one in the game. Uh, two successful sacrifices in the game and a double. The 0 2 from to call to Sunberg. Fastball, grounder to short. Cardenas on to Reese. And they go in order. We go to the ninth. Last chance for the Wolves to even this up and even try to win it. And, uh, Make things a little harder for Hadley Lake going down the stretch here. And it will be Brian McCann, Leo Cardenas, and Manny Sanguian. McCann in the game is grounded out twice and has flown out. Chief Bender looking for a complete game win here. Up to 129 pitches, and he's good for a hell of a lot more. Fastball been holding for Bender, too. Um, he averages 90. He's been at 89.2 in his last five pitches. 2-0 pitch now. Fastball on the way. And McCann laces this one to left. Base hit. So that is hit number eight for the Wolves. And once again, they have the tying run aboard. And it brings up Leo Cardenas. The 1-0 pitch to Cardenas. Fastball. There goes McCann for some reason. Uh, this one popped foul behind the plate. Sunberg chasing it back to the wall and out of play. So we'll rewind it and do it all again. Cardenas back in there. Not sure what Carpathian is thinking here. Adding McCann moving on the pitch. The 1-1. Big swing and a miss. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch runner at first base. The great Rod Carew. So Carew in there. Carew with just two steals. Carew not seeing really any action. Uh, so note to self, pay attention to Manager file like everybody else does in season three. All right, Manny Sanguian now. 0 for 3 in the game. Bender with a 2-1 pitch. He brings it home. And Carew off to the races. Hit and run. And Sanguian sends this to sec or center field. Uh, but Carew will stop at second. So they're playing a little conservative baseball. And here comes Marquise Grissom. Two singles, so two for four in the game. 1-0. Curveball, base hit, left field. And up with it is Tommy Davis, the throw to the plate, the tag, and he is safe. Carpathian Wolves tie it up here in the ninth. That was Marquise Grissom's third hit of the day, picking up the RBI. So it's a whole new ball game. And here comes Scrap Iron, singled back in the eighth his last time up. Two in scoring position for the Wolves and one away. And Sanguian at third. Marquise Grissom at second. Will Tool, good to see you, man. Bender with a 3-0 delivery. And they're going to intentionally walk Phil Garner to get to Moise Salou. 0 for 3 in the game, including a walk. Flight out his last time up. Bender deals the 0-2 pitch. Fastball to Alou. Alou sends this to left field. Davis back and short of the track makes the catch. Sanguian will tag it third. And in the top of the ninth, 
the Carpathian Wolves take a six to five lead. And it looks like Chief Bender might be running out of gas. Two on for the Wolves, two down. And Chief Bender will now face Dave Col or Dave Parker, Dave Cobra. <laughs> He's two for two with a walk and, and also a solo shot. One one pitch. Spitball, and this one lined hard, extra bases for this one. In to score will be Grissom. And Parker going for three, and he is safe. So a two RBI triple for Dave Parker and the Carpathian Wolves. <coughs> Roaring back here in the ninth in a game that means nothing for them, but a chance to just make it a little tougher on Hadley Lake. All right, two outs, runner in third, and here comes Rich Reese. And they're staying with Chief Bender, it looks like. Bender getting rocked here, the 0-2 pitch. And that one is a called strike three, but four runs on four hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the ninth. The Carpathian Wolves now lead the Hadley Lake Hammers 8-5. to five. Aaron Reed joining us at the ballpark. Good to see everybody here tonight. And I'm realizing the viewership's going up because people are used to me broadcasting late. So thanks for coming in, everybody. It's about the community more than anything. All right, Takalvi will stay on in relief. And that will bring up Don Kessinger's last time up. He struck out. The 2-1 pitch, curveball, cut on, grounded down the first baseline. Reese will underhand to Teak covering. So one up, one down for Ty Cobb, a disappointing 0 for 4 in the game. He's flown out three times. 1-2 pitch, curveball to Cobb, and high and deep and off the wall, Parker fielding the carom, and Ty Cobb pulls in with his 56th double of the season. One away, Hadley Lake trying to get something going here in the bottom of the ninth. Bobby Bonds, nothing for four. Grounded out twice, flown out twice. And Darren Jackson will pinch hit for Bobby Bonds. All right, here's the pitch. Jackson, first pitch swing, line hard back to Colvy. To Colvy on to Rich Reese for the one three put out. So two away, and it's down to Pete Rose to try to keep things going here for Hadley Lake. Two steals today for Charlie Hustle. The 2-0 pitch, curveball, Rose cuts on this one, line drive, base hit, left field, rounding third is Ty Cobb. He will score easily. The Hammers get one back in the bottom of the ninth. It's 8-6. to six. And here's Rudy York. He struck out three times today, but a big two-run shot back in the third. Can he do it again and tie it up in the bottom of the ninth? The manager here. Uh, from Hadley Lake, watching this one in the edge of his seat. All right. And Teak deals. Here is the 1-0 pitch. Fastball. York swings. This one ain't over yet. This one grounded past short into left field. Hadley Lake not going quietly into that good night. And the go-ahead run comes to the plate. And Rafael Palmero who has four game-winning RBI on the season. Palmero has himself an RBI in this game. That was back in the fifth inning that scored Pete Rhodes, giving Hadley Lake a 5-3 lead at that time. All right. Mike Napoli into catch, by the way. 3-0, and they're going to walk him. So, to Colby, walking Palmero, and here comes Tommy Davis, who is nothing for four. So, they're going to gamble on the weaker hitting Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis has grounded out um, all four times. He just needs to ground out to third to, uh, or no, ground to short to finish it all off. Let's see what happens. Bases loaded, Pete Rose at third, York at second, Palmero at first. And from the stretch and the one-two pitch to Tommy Davis, fastball, swung on, fly ball to left. Alou has it, and that is your ball game. Let's look at our recap. So that did not make Hadley Lake very happy as they lose this one 8-6, to six, a game that they were ahead of.
Um, for the Carpathian Wolves, again, a meaningless game for them as they are out of it. 72 and 83 now. Eight runs, 11 hits, two errors for Hadley Lake. They fall to 89 and 67. Hadley Lake with six runs, eight hits, no errors. Highlights for Hadley Lake. Delano DeShields goes one for two. He walked twice. Rudy York, two for five with a home run, two runs batted in. Pete Rose, two for three, two runs batted in. For the Carpathian Wolves, Dave Parker, a banner day at the plate, three for three, including a home run and three runs batted in. Marquise Grissom uh, went three for five. Tacalvi picks the, up the win, goes to six and two. Chief Bender gets the loss and goes to six and eight. Looking at our pitching line here for the Carpathian Wolves, Joe McGinnity went five innings, um, gave up five runs, three earned, a home run, walked two, struck out two. Bob Miller worked two in relief, walked two batters and struck out two. Tacalvi, who picked up the win, worked two, uh, and gave up one run and walked one. Chief Bender. Went the distance, picks up the loss, nine innings pitched, 11 hits, eight earned runs, gave up a home run, walked five, and struck out five. And I am I think Dave Parker deserves MVP. Let's see who gets it. And indeed, MVP is Dave Parker in this game. All right, so let's get to what's going on here and see what other thing we have. All right, so... Um, we're going to just do the games right now of teams that are out of it. And we'll see if you guys want one more. We can maybe do one more. If not, I can just sim everything out and then pass the BBX on to the next broadcaster. Florence at Edmonton. And Edmonton defeats Florence 8-2. to two. Jerry Kuzman gets the win. Jose Rico takes the loss. Hunter Pence goes 2-3, for three, hits his 10th home run. Four runs batted in. Uh, let's see, Long Island and Dallas. These two, of course, eliminated as well. Dallas, 4-1 to one over Long Island. Bill Deneen gets the win. Jeff Pfeffer gets the loss. And uh, Leon Wagner goes 1-4 uh, for four, um, with a his 26th home run and two runs batted in. Uh, Liverpool, Berlin, again, this one all sewn up. These two are in the same uh, division and Berlin finished 15 and a half back in second place. So Liverpool, of course, wants to add insult to injury and takes this from Berlin four to two. Christy Mathewson gets his 29th win. Go Christy. Uh, Wickman, uh, whoever that is, goes to three and three. Uh, George Foster goes two for three with a double. Hagerstown and Manchester. Um, Manchester hands it to uh, Hagerstown, a little bitch slapping, uh, six to one. So Max Lanier picks up the win. Sam Lever gets the loss. Brett Butler, two for four, with a triple and a stolen base. So Manchester doing it up badly in the first game tonight. We did Manchester defeated Hagerstown 11 to one. Mid Michigan is still in the hunt. That might be the game that I'll do because they are still in the hunt. And, uh, I don't think I've done a mid-Michigan game. So let's see. Cleveland at TiVo. And this one, Cleveland edges TiVo. Six to five. Owen gets the win. Carl Mays takes the loss. Fred Lynn goes two for four. Hits his 17th round tripper and has a double. Lancaster and Chicago. Lancaster ended up finishing second to Canada. Uh, 15 games behind. Um, and Chicago... Chicago, or yes, they're still they're, they're they're here. There we are. Um, so the crazy things in the fire division there. Wow. So Chicago finishes in fourth place thus far, forty-one games back. Florence fifty-seven games back. Canada just ran away with it again. And Lancaster blanks Chicago three to nothing. Andy Messersmith picks up his twelfth win. Hudson uh, picks up his tenth loss. Justin Morneau had a pretty good day, two for three, including his 10th home run, two runs batted in. Tampa Bay still in the hunt here, so mid-Michigan will be watching this one with interest. Tampa Bay and Amazing. Will Amazing be a spoiler? They will not. Tampa Bay, seven to three over Amazing. Uh, the left arm of God gets the win. Blue Mood Odom gets the loss. Augie Galen goes three for four with a double. Uh, Vegas in Canada, this one is a, 
well, Vegas at least picks up the win here. So Vegas improves to 90 and 65. They defeat Canada 8 to 4. Well, San Alvarez gets the win. How Newhauser picks up the loss. Rocky Colavito goes two for four, hitting his 29th home run, three runs batted in. All right. Um, D Gens and Lehigh. Big game here for Lehigh. Wanting to hold on to this eight game lead. D Gens looking to play spoiler. Here we go. That's not going to happen tonight, baseball fans. Lehigh, six. D Gens, nothing. Hank Barrowway gets the win. John Lester gets the loss. Lehigh is on a 13 game winning streak. Holy hell. As Sean says, um, Alvarez has beat me a few times since he came to Vegas. Yep, Bernie at 90 wins. And got 13 game winning streak for the Lehigh Lizards. So that makes the Chico's game, I don't know, is, is, uh, I don't know how Buckshot's voice here. If he wants me to do that game, I'd be very happy to have him on mic if he just wants to make managerial moves. If he doesn't, we'll do mid-Michigan and St. Pete. And that would be then slash deep. So whoever wants to come on or, you know, I'd hate to sim it. These are pretty big games, both of them. Oh, actually, there's a double header. So let's do uh, – I think you guys would probably rather see David Cohn, I'm guessing. So we're going to cheat and do the other, we'll do the second one. Ooh, San Francisco defeats Chico's two to nothing. Maybe there is some truth to this after all. Kovaleski gets the win. Yusin takes the loss. Kovaleski gets the complete game and struck out six. All right. So it's down to if you guys want to see another game or I can just sim them. Uh, Buckshot thinks he's out of the running at this point. All right, we'll go ahead and sim that one. I don't think you are, but let's see. Chico's edges San Francisco three to two. Hot Eller gets the win. Roger Clemens with the loss. George Brett two for two with two doubles. That leaves St. Pete, Michigan. If you guys want another game, we'll do another game. If not, I'll just sim it. It's up to the chat. I think that's all we have. That is all we have for today. You think the Lizards clinched? Uh, let's see. Let's let's bop out of this and let's see what happens. You may be right. And indeed they have. So it is over. It is actually it's over uh, except in the water division. Um, so mid-Michigan, three games from elimination. Hadley Lake, four games from elimination. You'd like to see mid-Michigan play? All right, Sean, you got it. Hmm. Quick advertisement here for any of you that are interested in picking up Out of the Park Go edition or Out of the Park Go uh, 25. Um, I, I will give it a qualified yes. So there's two qualifications to it. This is the first time that they're charging for Out of the Park Go. It's $10. Uh, it does come with the current season. Um. If you want to buy all the seasons back to 1901, this additional 20 bucks. The reason I'm calling it a qualified yes is um, I actually bought a new Android tablet to play it. It plays beautifully. I know the minimum is like it's like two gigs of RAM for the game. If you want to play this edition, um, you're you're really going to need a, a four gig Android device or iPad. I wouldn't suggest playing it on your phone. And if if you are playing it on your phone, make sure your phone is plugged in. It does use resources. Um, they have added some things this year to Out of the Park Go, including all the really kind of cool filters that you find in Out of the Park 25. The screen filters, black and white, all that stuff. Um, they're also beefing up the fictional leagues, allowing you to use historical players, although the way you do it, I don't quite understand. It doesn't work the same way as in Out of the Park, the big game. So um, I'm putting a message up in the forums and say, guys, what the hell I'm doing? What am I doing wrong? But um, it plays really well. Um, if you do buy it, make sure you turn off the fireworks in the game uh, because it does cause a bit of a graphics glitch. So they've only half fixed that. Um, but if you're a baseball fan and, uh, you know, it's still a nice and you want to just take something on the go. I'm going to visit my parents in June. Don't want to take a uh, my PC up there. So I can just grab this uh, this this new uh, the Samsung that I've got. 
just bought and you can play some baseball on the go. All right. St. Pete at Mid Michigan. Mid Michigan will be the home team. And let's play. So Todd B says that he is shocked that he's been eliminated. All right. Well, Todd, I'm 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 shocked that I didn't I don't have the worst record in baseball. You did much better than I, that's for sure, my friend. All right, here we go. Mid Michigan still in the hunt. St. Pete, a chance to play spoiler. All right, so what do we got here? We got a righty. So we need a right-handed lineup if there is one. Looks like they're uh it's not complete. So we do this, and there we go. Ernie Brolio. Um, we'll take the mound for the mid-Michigan Thrillers. By the way, cool graphic, cool logos. These are done by Steve Tate, our co-commissioner. All right. We're ready to go. Welcome to Candlestick Park. This is a big, big game for the Mid-Michigan Thrillers. They will be facing the St. Pete Sharks. <clears throat> Mid-Michigan has won eight of the last ten games. Jack Powell will take the hill for um, St. Pete. 30 starts on the year, 7-25, and 25. ouch, and an ERA of 5.9. Six. This will be his fourth start against Mid Michigan. One and two against them with a five point six three. Ernie Brolio will be on the mound for Mid Michigan. Thirty two starts in the year for him. Thirteen and thirteen. His ERA a very respectable two point six six. His fourth go around against St Pete and he is undefeated against them. A zero point six seven earned run average. Sixty nine degrees at game time here at Candlestick Park. Wind speed 11 miles per hour in from left center field. So when it's 69 degrees in September in San Francisco, it's already damn cold. What's the saying? The coldest winter I spent was the summer I spent in San Francisco. All right, here we go. The starting defense for the mid-Michigan thrillers. We saw his dad in the other game. Now we see the son, Barry Bonds, in left field. In center field, Curtis Granderson. And right, Tony Canigliaro. At first base, Miguel Cabrera. At second, Mike Andrews. At short, Alan Trammell. At third base, Matt Williams catching. Ivan Rodriguez and Ernie Berlio on the mound. Dan Bruthers will lead things off here. Dan Bruthers hitting just 222, a home run, 17 runs batted in. Four Bruthers way off his pace. All right. And we are ready to get underway here. Welcome to San Francisco. Fastball and Brolio loses Bruthers. So a runner aboard already. And Dan Bruthers um, with just seven steals. Here's Bobby Veach. Bobby Veach acquired from the Detroit Tigers hitting two. 93, 26 home runs, 78 runs batted in for Bobby Veach. Bruthers leads off first. Brolio with a 2-0 delivery to Veach. Fastball, Veach swings high and deep to right, but Canigliaro pulls it down in that wind, helping in a little bit, coming from left center, gave that ball a little English. So one away, Bruthers retreats to first, and here's Chipper Jones batting lefty against the righty Burglio. Chipper Jones hitting 292. He has 19 round trippers, 87 runs batted in. Burglio deals. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball gets away from Rodriguez. Rodriguez with the air and throw into center field. So good God. So Ernie Burglio charged with a wild pitch, and, and Pudge Rodriguez with the error, his seventh in the season. And Dan Bruthers is on third. So crazy start to the game with one down. Jones back in the box. 2-1. Jones sends this routine fly ball. Center field Granderson will make the catch. And tagging and scoring from third is Dan Bruthers. 
So a tally for St. Pete Sharks here in the top of the first. Again, big game for the Michigan Thrillers. Still in the hunt. The water division not yet decided. Here's Will Clark. Will Clark hitting 279, eight home runs, 41 runs batted in. Base is empty, a runner in, two down. 0-2 pitch, and Will Clark cuts and misses. That does it, but a run on no hits and one error after a half inning. St. Pete won, and the Thrillers coming to bat. All right, looking at the starting defense here for the St. Pete Sharks in left field, Bobby Beach. In center, Jay Johnstone. And right, Gabby Kravath. So looking at Gabby Kravath here, interesting. So I, I, I just need to make this comment. So um, a lot of dead ball guys are seeing larger home run numbers. And yet, here's something interesting. Gabby Kravath, and he's only been in 26 games, uh, seeing limited action for St. Pete. But uh, Gabby Kravath was the, hit, hit the most home runs of any dead ball player. Um, had serious power and has managed um, just one. So, hmm, interesting, interesting stuff. All right, anyhow, at first base, Will Clark. At second, Jeff Kent. At short, Marty Marion. At third, Chipper Jones. And catching, Ray Cracker Shock. All right, leading off here, Barry Bonds hitting 240, 35 home runs, 71 runs batted in. Curtis Granderson. Waits on deck. Jack Powell deals to Barry Bonds. This one high, this one deep, but not enough. Gabby Kravitz, short of the track, makes the catch. Out number one. Wind is going to be a factor here today. Curtis Granderson now at the dish. 229, 27 and 81 is his slash line. Count full on Granderson and Powell missing with the fastball low. And Curtis Granderson is aboard. Granderson stole 20. Thus far this season, here comes Matt Williams now. Matt Williams hitting 182, but 30 home runs, 77 runs batted in. And Mike Silva. So Mick is with us. Hope you won tonight. He's on Discord by himself, pulling his pud. So, gentlemen, um, what we'll do is we're going to bring Mr. Silva aboard here. There might be people that want to hear him do that. So if anybody wants to come on, including Mick, please do. There we go. All right. Matt Williams with a ton of home runs and a crappy batting average at bat. Jim Tomey waits on deck. Jack Powell's delivery. There goes Granderson to throw down by Shock, not in time. Curtis Granderson with his 21st theft of the season. Runner in scoring position. And it brings up Matt Williams again because he hasn't gone anywhere. Powell deals. Here's the 1-0. Curveball. And this one at the knees. So two away. Granderson remains at second and brings up Jim Tomey. Tomey, the DH, hitting 236. He has 27 home runs, 72 runs batted in. The 1 1 pitch to Tomey. Fastball, long, high, and deep, and out of here. Open the window, Aunt Mitty. Jim Tomey with a two run shot. And just like that, Mid-Michigan answers with two of their own in the bottom of the first, a 338-foot shot. It is now 2-1 to one in favor of Mid-Michigan. Looking to bring in possibly a dark horse and win the water division. So Tampa Bay looking to repeat. Base is empty, two away from Miggy Cabrera. Cabrera, 254, 18 home runs. 58 runs batted in. <clears throat> As Todd B says, way to go, Jim Tomei. 2-1 pitch to Cabrera. Change up, lined, and that will do it. Lined out to third, and that will do it. Two runs on one hit, no errors. We've played one, the Thrillers two, and the Sharks one. Jay Johnstone will lead things off here. Then Gabby Kravitz and Jeff Kent. Johnstone hitting 237, a home run and 26 runs batted in. Ernie Broglio kicks and fires, 2 2 pitch, fastball sky to center. Granderson, a few steps to his right, pulls it down for out number one. Here's Gabby Kravitz hitting just 171, a home run, three runs batted in. Very limited action for Kravitz. Broglio into the windup, 0 2 fastball, strike three called. 
So quickly two up and two down now for the second baseman, Jeff Kent. Kent hitting 245, five home runs, 18 runs batted in. Broglio has the sign from Pudge. The 2-2 pitch, curveball, Jeff Kent, swing and a miss. That ends the inning. They go in order. We go to the bottom of the second, mid-Michigan 2, St. Pete, nothing. It'll be Mike Andrews to leave things off. Alan Trammell and Tony C. Mike Andrews hitting 298, two home runs, 22 runs batted in. Powell deals the count 3-0, fastball misses inside. Mike Andrews is aboard, and Mike Andrews really not a threat to steal at all. So Powell can concentrate on this next guy, Hall of Famer Alan Trammell. Trammell hitting 215, six home runs, 56 runs batted in for the mid-Michigan Thrillers. The 0-1 pitch to Trammell, curveball, bunted. Powell will go to Kent covering at first, sacrifice successful. Mike Andrews moves into scoring position for Tony C. Canigliaro hitting 195, nine home runs, 49 runs batted in. Shock sets the target. Powell delivers. Curveball, first pitch swinging, popped up on the infield. Marty Marion calls off Jeff Kent and makes the catch. Chew down. All right, Yvonne Rodriguez. 206, five home runs, 45 runs batted in. Mike Andrews at second. 2-1, your score here on the bottom of the second at the candle. Stick pock. And Rodriguez sends this one high to left, but not deep enough. Bobby Veach backing up and makes the catch. No runs, no hits, no errors. Two in the books here at the site of the last Beatles concert. Last live Beatles concert. Two to one. Top of the third here. And it'll be Ray Shock, Marty Marion, and Dan Bruthers for St. Pete. Cracker hitting 173. Ten home runs. 52 runs batted in. If Shock can get on board, just knowing about Ray Shock, he can steal some bases. Not the prototypical catcher of today, but more like of days gone by when catchers had speed. Broglio deals. Here's the one-two pitch. Silva coming on here. Trammell to Cabrera to retire Shock. And let's bring on the Pud Pull and Nick. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Up, hey, buddy. You been tonight? Uh, champions once again, baby. And give it up for Mike Silva, man. All right. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. I made a kick save on the goal line as a defenseman because uh, there's a scramble. In fact, that, that was my best play of the night. So <laughs> see that. Get on with your bad self. So, yeah. so before we continue with the game, regale us. Do you do you have your new computer set up completely now? I was just working on it just a little bit a little while ago. Um, all right. Like, well, just for a few minutes, I was trying to set up my ballpark so all up in the uh, action PC again for the league. All right. It's pain in the ass. Yep. It doesn't make it easy on you to try to, you know, switch from uh, keep your ballpark uh, configurations. You have to kind True. of set it all up again from scratch. But anyway. Uh, Sean's congratulating you on the win, as is David Lando. Oh, thank you, guys. All right. So what's up with this bullshit game here? Yay. Uh, so the thrillers, but a boom, but a bing, huh? they're still in the race. So the other three divisions decided Lehigh clinched. So, um, oh, it's Lehigh clinched? Wow. Lehigh clinched, man. So it's down to you know, a three way between a three. Hey, we got a menage a trois going here. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I hate to say I told you so to Chico's, but you know, he, he went ahead and messed around with the winning formula and traded half his staff at the trade deadline. Hey, right. Exactly. Well, you know, what do I know? I'm, I was in. La I'm in last place. I'm looking at the uh, the lottery. So what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm looking longingly in the lottery, but unfortunately, I, I well, I don't know. I think I'll get like fifth pick. So I'm I'm pretty psyched about that. And uh, keeper lists are due, by the way. League members, bah. they are due Thursday at noon. Your keeper lists. I'm thinking yeah. about dumping dumping my whole damn team. I'm well, no, you. I, I've been looking every day. I'm looking at my keeper list for five times to make sure it's correct because I want to submit the wrong one. So, so you know, I, I'm gonna wait. I think I might do it for a couple more days until you know, right until the last minute. The last minute, yeah, I like that. That's I did my taxes last minute. It was beautiful. So I, you know, why not? <laughs> hey, <laughs> so I, you know what I mean. So anyway, yeah, no, I, 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 I want to make sure I have this right, and I don't have anybody going the wrong direction and. I already got bit last season, but it was just like someone stupid like Rick Russell was, I thought was going one way, but he was going the other way because I'm an idiot. So, you know, this time uh, I know there's no no mistake, you know, and that was, I didn't realize it until <laughs> a few months into the season. So anyway, 
I wouldn't okay. see her in Egypt, Mick. Not at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll not have that kind of guff from you. <laughs> all right, Brolio to deal to Marty Marion. Here's the O2. Oh, change up in there. Cut and a miss. So two down. And we're back at the top of the order for St. Pete and Dan Brothers. And Mike, feel free to just throw in at any time that you want uh, anything. You know, I'm good. I had a few paps just hang out. the game, so I'm just kind of chilling out. So what is that? Wasn't there a country song, Rednecks, White Socks, and Blue Ribbon Beer or something like that? I don't know. I'm not so, a redneck. Uh, well, I, I know you, we, yeah, New Englander. You can't be unless you're in New Hampshire. They do yeah. have rednecks in New Hampshire. And so yeah, we heard. do. There are and, definitely. Yep. Yeah, and and sections of Maine I've heard as well. Yeah, like uh, uh, right around the Hadley Lake area. Kind of. Hadley Lake area. Yes. No, actually, Todd, you actually don't have to. Um, I, I I kept 14 last season, and look what it did for me. Pretty much the same damn record. I didn't go anywhere. So I'm thinking about dumping everybody. New experiment. <laughs> well, Beatles, you obviously were tanking since you didn't even put Willie Keeler into your starting lineup. Dude, I know. Up. Next year he'll be in it though because he's gonna he yeah. gets better and better and and I am gonna like actually pay attention next season. Uh, there you go. I hope and, so. I know it's it's a shocker. I know, but uh, I think I could build a good team. Dan Bruthers walked his last time up. Ernie Brolio with the 0-2 pitch. Bruthers cuts on this one. Easy roller to Miggy at first, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the third. The Thriller is holding on to a 2-1 lead. Um, who's the manager of St. Pete? I don't even remember now. Joe Murdy. Joe Murdy. All right. All right. Barry Bonds, nothing for one. It'll be back at the top of the order for these Thrillers. So it'll be Bonds, Granderson, and Williams. So Barry flied to deep right center back in the first, saw his dad in the second game, the earlier game tonight. First game was a disaster. Oh, my God. One, two pitch in there. Steer right three. Uh, in the first game, Manchester destroyed Hagerstown 11 to one. So that we zoomed through that game. That was it was really sad. So. Oh, so, um, you know, so uh, MV was uh, getting some garbage time wins in there now. Or what? Yeah, he swept. He took a double header. All right, yeah, he, t- he yeah, took a double header. So, eh, what are you going to do? Yep. MV, MV. Even though he's got an E by his team, I, I bet you MV is finding some way through some strange combination of calculus, trigonometry, um, and basic pre-algebra. Quantum physics. Quantum <laughs> physics to find a way, right? <laughs> All right. Powell deals to Granderson. The one-two pitch, fastball in there by Jack Powell, and that takes care of Granderson and Jack Powell picking up his third strikeout. All right, brings up Matt Williams now. Matt Williams struck out back in the first. His base is empty, two away. Jack Powell with a 1-0. Fastball, fly ball, high and deep to center field, and Veach watching it off the wall. Oh, oh my, Matt Williams with his nineteenth two bagger. I thought that was gone, Mike. Me too. Jeez, Me too. That, that stiff breeze from San Francisco must have knocked down or something. Well, one coming in from in from left center at eleven. So I really thought that was out of here. But speaking of home runs, here's a wrecking crew. Jim Tomey, two run shot back in the first. Can he do it again? Jack Powell checks Williams at second. Williams slower than me. Here we go, or slower than I. The 0-2 pitch, fastball, Tommy. She looks like it called strike three. Oh, yeah. All right, so no runs, one hit, no errors. we got a good tight ball game as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Two to one in favor of mid-Michigan. So St. Pete trying to play a little bit of a spoiler here. Carpathian got to do that tonight against Hadley Lake. That was that was fun to actually see my team in action, almost throw it away. <laughs> Those hicks and Hadley Lake. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, Bobby Veach gave it a ride to very deep right field last time. So it'll be uh, Veach, Jones, and Clark. Ernie Brolio ready to work. The 1-0 delivery, fastball. And Veach cuts on this one high and sort of deep, but Tony C brings it down short of the track. One up, one down. Hey, here's a little little Field of Dreams trivia for you. Uh, All right. Who's the only pitcher in Field of Dreams to have a no hair in both seasons so far? Oh, Wow. That is a good. That is a good one. Throw that out to the chat as well. I guess I'll tell you right now, Ernie Brolio. Is it, was it Ernie? Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. I'll tell you. We'll give him a little highlight love here. There he is. Yeah. He, Ernie, and he's a good Italian, and he's saying, "Hey, what do you want from me? 
para pum para pi. Dave Lando is wrong. Burpo Island got two no hitters in one well one perfect game and a no hitter in all in one, this season. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's, uh, he's manager of Chicago, uh, so yeah, you know he doesn't know. He doesn't know if he's coming or going, just like his players. <laughs> Shots fired, man. <laughs> All right, here's Chipper, man. He flied to. Uh, he had a sacrifice to score Dan Bruthers back in the first, giving St. Pete its lone run. Two-two pitch, and this one lined up the middle under the glove of Mike Andrews into center field. We have an injury. Are we surprised? Oh, he stays but, in the game. Ah, uh, he's just slightly injured. All right, he's so one of those tough, the few tough baseball players. Few tough, exactly, exactly. So Chipper Jones broke a nail there, I think. <laughs> so Jones aboard, and here's Will the Thrill Clark struck out back in the first. Rodriguez sets the target. Brolio in the wind, or not the wind, the one-two pitch. Curveball in there. Swing and a miss. Two down. Brolio picking up strikeout number five. It's up to Jay Johnstone, and he was from the Padres, so who cares? Uh, but he flied to left center. I know. I'm, I'm not biased. I'm not. <laughs> 2 pitch, and hey, he laces one to right. Base hit, and Chipper Jones around second. He's going to make third easily as Canigliaro gets the ball into Mike Andrews. That's what I get for making fun of Jay Johnstone. Here comes yeah. Gavi Kravath. Nothing for one. Struck out in the second. Brolio from the stretch. The 0-1 pitch. Fastball. And this Ooh. one sky to left, Ooh. and we'll get out of play. Oh, guy has the best name if you have a list or yeah. you know Kravath. Mm -hmm. Your, uh, you know, you have a speech impediment. Yeah, he, 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 he went to the he went to the Grand Canyon and fell in the crevice. Uh, he, oh, that's so bad. I'm sorry. If anybody has a speech impediment out there, I am sorry. I'm just we're just having fun here, right, Mike? Yeah, sorry, Dave. We're not making fun of you. <laughs> oh my God. So so Poor so Dave. Dave. So Dave tonight, by the way, in the Discord. Oh. So, so this was before earlier in the evening before Steve went on to do some Fields of Dreams games, right? See so, you know, Dave usually goes to the drive-through and doesn't yeah. buy anybody food, right? Now this time, so Steve says, "Well, I'm going to go off, you know, have my dinner. I'll be back in about 20 yep. minutes to do some games." David felt compelled to 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 proclaim in the Discord, "Well, I'm sitting here eating my food right now." Once again, not sharing. Yeah. He's oh, yeah. a scrub. Well, He's a scrub. Well, I, was on, I, was He's a scrub. Call. I was on there like when I was driving to hockey and he was going through the drive through of Panera. Never fails. Never, Never fails. Fa and, and did he get you anything? No. no, no. So, so, David, we have a hockey champ here in the broadcast booth <laughs> that was in the Discord by himself pulling his pud, and you cannot get him something for dinner. I went, Put him in the fucking bathroom. Hey. Sean, Sean needs to hook me up with some poutine. Oh shit, David's coming on. Hang on, man. All right. Oh, he's gonna defend his honor. You All sons right. of okay. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, man. Thank you. Thank David you. Lando, David Lando, honorary paisan here, honorary wise guy. He's not even the 30s guy. I'm he announcing my presence with a four. Yeah, where's that 30s guy, anyhow, man? Capone probably whacked him. I don't oh, know. Oh, he what got whacked. Sorry, you got whacked? Yeah. All right. Oh, so, David, what's what's the deal with you, man? Are you ever going to get us anything when you're out getting dinner? What, I'm, we're going to hold the game for a second here. You know we what? Need to know. I'm going to say this. The Kansas City trip, one round is on me. Let's go. What the fuck are we waiting for? Guys, he's gonna all buy us a pack of Lance Toast Chi crackers. <laughs> Give it up for David, man. I was thinking, I was thinking a, a dozen or two, two dozen donuts, depending on how many people are show up. You know. Oh, there you go. Oh my God, David's praying for like. That's a dozen, he, has a, he needs a dozen for himself first, and then he gets a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know ja what? hey, Jamie's here. Yeah. What's that? What's that? I, I, I you know, someone's got to put uh, the vanilla cream on his nipples. You know, so. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! Hey, so, James, oh my God! Jamie, you know, I think, he, I think the basketball, <laughs> basketball talk scared him away for a little while. I haven't seen him on there. Yeah, right. Let's see. Yeah. So, Mike, are you are you in the basketball league? Basketball no, I'm not. Jones? No. no, I'm not. We should sing the basketball Jones song for the new league, right? Shouldn't we do that? That basketball was just like a basketball to me. 
<laughs> are we doing a baseball game here or are we just fucking around? What's going on? I think we're <laughs> fucking around over here. And this is <laughs> Michigan and St. Pete. It's not a big deal. Well, mid Michigan's still in the hunt, so we oh, gotta give them some love. They, they yeah. yeah, they are. Oh, I thought they folded already. Okay, okay well, no. well, well, again, well, they're well. part of the, the menage a trois with uh with uh Tampa Bay and Hadley Lake. Oh, okay. I thought you guys Bro- oh, all right. I didn't know they were still in it. Okay. Berlio from the stretch. Long fly bought a center field. Oh. No doubt about this one, oh, baseball boy. fans. Can you believe it? Kravitz was just waiting. He's like, come on, guys. He's still, off. He was sitting in the batter's one. box for 45 minutes. Well, hey, but what I say, they got the the season. What the hell? Hey, my favorite Irishman's in here. Slant you to you, Dan Burke, and welcome. Dan Burke is in here, the wind that shakes the barley. So, Gabby Kravitz, I was talking about this guy, home run king in dead ball, limited action. He says, Bafangustunad, and he just goes yard 375. What what is that? One of those newfangled uh, airplane neck neck, neck (laughs) things? Pretty, yeah, man. I, I'm a little skimpy you what, there. A little skimpy. That must not have been too comfortable. I don't know, man. It kind of GQ, I think, for 1917. Anyhow, right? Yes. All right. Big shot out there, and left center, uh, and, and the stick. Shit, I traded this guy to Chicago, and then he ended up trading him away as, as usual to someone mm. else. And gets no playing time, and comes in and, and, and does. I, I love it. Jeff Kent struck out back in the Let's second. See what he does. Rolio with two down, the one-two pitch. Kent swings, grounder to short, and treadmill on to Cabrera to retire Jeff Kent. Three runs, three hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The Sharks lead the Thrillas four to two. We have David Lando and Mike Silva in here. Oh. David Lando, you want to tell me a little bit about the basketball thing? Because you know more about basketball, Jones, than I do. Because I've been mentioning on the broadcast, pimping it for you guys. Well, you you, know you have been pimping hard tonight. You have been pimping hard, baby. Showing a little leg. I appreciate. I'm it. about it. I'm about it, man. I'm like I'm like Mo ha- or who was it? Curly that would he he would like hitchhike and pull up the pant leg a little bit. <laughs> Although I'm considerably you know like thinner and a, more hair than Curly, I'm feeling it, baby. So what about this basketball league you guys are doing? Well, man? it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Steve and Clue are running it. We did our draft. Well, shit. Speaking of Steve, yeah, Steve is here. Welcome, oh, Steve nice. Tate, everybody. Well, is the draft finally over? Did, did Todd be uh, drafted? Talk about this league. He's better at it than I am. Steve, pimp it out, man. Let's Can you it. hear me? Am I on? Am I live? You're on, man. Mike Steve, on. Steve's wife to get back on there. Get back to the town. Like he's been on this. <laughs> get on with your bad self and pimp the league, man. Go for it. Hey, Court I just got What's up? Announce, What's I up? just double checked. All 14 teams have their 14 man rosters done, so we've got a file ready to let people start playing with. I don't wow. know if David wants that or anything, but oh no, I could wait. What the well, fuck? more importantly, Steve, can everybody stop trading now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So here we go. When's it, when? I don't know if it's called opening day in basketball, but when is the first whatever? But uh, we're going to call it. Uh, uh, well, wait a minute. I don't have. Uh, I'm waiting for Sean to get his shit done. So maybe Sean got his stuff done, and hey, I just Sean. haven't seen it. So he I just got to catch yeah, up he to did Sean it earlier. I saw it in the in the chat. Oh, he did. Because yeah. if not, you put him in the fucking bathroom. That's what All right. we do. We're, we're close. There's maybe one or two teams. All right. Let me get Sean's done, and we maybe have to track down the uh, man bear picks. <laughs> man bear picks. <laughs> Yeah, Do I that's, not, that's I not three that. people. That's all one. Speaking of that, Jamie needs to come up with a good logo for the Man Bear Pigs. It's actually not Jamie. It's it's uh, Hammer Time, I think. No, I know that, but Jamie's good with the AI. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I've got a good logo for him. Hold on a second. Hmm. Okay. Well, my, well, Steve's looking at that. We'll let, we'll let Miggy bat here. So we're going to yeah, see the number five, run. six, seven oh, hitters. Wait for a while. I'm going to hit a home run now. Exactly. It's going to be Cabrera, Andrews, and just we'll do it this one more time for Yoko, Alan Treadmill. And Miguel Carbonara. And Miguel Carbonara, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Jack Powell with a one-two, oh. and Mickey strikes out. Number five for Jack oh, Powell. Oh, Margarita. <laughs> <laughs> so no, David Lando. Director, That's he's, a real director. He's chant uh, Carbonaro? No, Antonio Margarita. <laughs> Antonio Magariti. His buddy, uh, Dominic De Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Andrews walked his last time up. And the 1-1 pitch, fastball. Andrews cool. swings, 
fly high. This oh, one's gone. gone. It's gone. It's gone. Ooh, that's the third home run of the season for shit. Mike what Andrews. What is this guy? What are they just trying to get their home runs in before the end of the year? Because got, you know, I'm guessing, his right? Third, his third. 374 foot shot against the wind. Anybody want to sing any Bob Seeger? Now's your chance. Is here's Alan Treadmill. Four to three sharks now um, up on St. Pete. So St. Pete looking to play that spoiler role here. Bunted out his last time up. Jack Powell count even at two and Treadmill Trammell looks at a call and strike three, two down for Tony C. So when do you guys anticipate getting the uh, league like first broadcast or whatever, Steve? Uh, tomorrow about two. Well, Steve Tate wastes no time. No, I do. So, we're getting close. Hey, this is only like three days in. Well, that's actually, amazing. Yeah, maybe three days in total from the kickoff. Yeah, we so yeah, we're, Saturday we're, night. Like I just, like, yeah, I get home and Steve's like, "Well, you're up draft." Like, <laughs> you know, what the hell am I? Did I get in drafting? So Sean has a question in the chat. <laughs> that I amazing. like it. If there I were like a question, Sean, I would have done it already. So, um, Steve, do you want to take a moment, too, and talk about – I know you, you guys are trying to form something with uh, football as well. Do you want to try to get some owners on board? Go for it. We've got 12 watching right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Football. If we've got some people in here interested, um, we've got the basketball league kicking off with 14 teams. That will be the inaugural season. So if you're interested in that, let me know. For sure, I'll put you on the list for season two. And we've got about 11 – interested in the same approach with the football league where you draft two football teams from random years, combine them to make one team. And it'd be, you know, so many, I think it's 11 man keeper going forward back with the players. Same thing we're doing with baseball and now basketball. So, yeah. No, it's no, Oh, John, no, we, we've been allowed to say, say football for a long time. Now I lifted the ban. I'm trying to be in the words of George Herbert Walker Bush, even though I'm a Democrat, I'm trying to be a kindler, gentler, yeah. baseball only fan nothing wrong so, with that thousand thank you Steve. And, and there's still time for you to, to, <laughs> to, steve. to, to evolve so steve steve most I'm of a, us do i'm so. enjoying being cro magnon baseball man thank you very okay. much okay. <laughs> <laughs> but i'll be tuning into both of those i wasn't just talking baseball i mean life in general well steve <laughs> you're asking a lot you're asking a lot uh yeah it just it can't happen my god the 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 on again off again girlfriend and now she's on again has been trying the evolutionary thing and it's just Wait, not is happening. She on you right now? I, I <laughs> wish, Mick. Here comes Mike at the Pat's Blue Ribbon. Call. Oh, there we go, man. Hey, he's got jokes. So uh, Todd B is holding out for the curling league. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Bernie Bernie did bring up an idea about doing a horse racing thing, which would be fun. Seven years ago, we did it um, in the community, and it was yeah. billions of people every Sunday night. That was what we did. And you know what Mike's going to enjoy hearing this? I don't know if he caught it earlier, but Will Tool came up with a great idea about a golf league. So we thought, hey, what about a golf league where we, you know, <sighs> you draft uh, four golfers, and then every week in the tournament, you just add up the total of the four overall, and you got a team event. So oh boy. Uh, I like Mike's that. Like, Mike's like, good <laughs> Lord, let's just get through uh, the postseason in baseball and hey, you guys coming up with leagues. You know, Dunkin', yeah. Donuts, Dunkin Donuts, they kind of like, they were doing pretty well <laughs> until they brought out the tuna fish sandwiches. Like, you can't be doing like, you know, you can't be taking on too much, you know what I mean? If yeah, you I guys do go the, 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 what was it, Glow, the, uh, Gorgeous ladies of wrestling or whatever. I'll join yeah. that one. There we I go. Mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Start hiring people to do some of the work for the leagues here. No kidding. Jack Powell to deal to Tony C. Canigliaro, a little bouncer to short, and Marty Marion ranges to his left and makes the easy put out. Four in the books here, and the Sharks holding onto a tenuous four-three lead. All right, it'll be Cracker Shock, Marty Marion, and Dan Bruthers do up for St. Pete. Um, as as Bernie says, we're going to make Mike's head explode. No, but what is going to be, dude? The divorce rate is going to go up even higher. Oh, but yeah. Bernie yeah. said she just knows the time away. She doesn't distinguish between sport. It just oh. all gets lumped <laughs> in. So he, he's, it's almost like he's prepaid. <laughs> we're going to make Mike grow hair in his fucking head. <laughs> Shout to Cabrera, one up, one down. Mm. All right, Marty the Marion here. Frankenstein head he's got. <laughs> he does have that kind of rocking, doesn't he? I like it. 
Romeo with a one-two pitch. This one lays to left, base hit. Bonds up with you it. Lex Marion holds with first. Frankenstein. You get Silva. Uh, oh, Dave, oh. Dave, Dave, Dave's giving it back now. Dave's giving his thoughts there. You know, I, I deserve it though. Oh, Marom. <laughs> Romeo winds and deals. The 01 Bruthers lines this one to right. Caniglier up with it. Marion going for oh. three, the tag, Great. and he is just in. Gets the index finger in there ahead of the Matt Williams tags. Oh, the runners at the corners. St. Pete trying to cause some trouble here and add some insurance here in the top of the fifth inning as Bobby Veach, uh, one of from Steve's great franchise, the Detroit Tigers, he's flown out twice. Brothers at first, Marion at third, one away. Brolio looking for the two ball here. The pitch. Oh, oh forget yeah. about it. Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. What a three run about? shot by Bobby Veach. And guys, oh, we might just, I think we're going to have to do, we might do the zoom roll here. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Seven to three. Hey. Seven to three. Shot. Chipper Jones uh, had a sacrifice uh, that gave St. Pete its first run way back in the first. Uh, the Thrillers answered with two in the first, bottom of the first, and one in the bottom of the fourth. This has been the St. Pete Sharks. Wow. All right. Base is empty for Chipper Jones. One away. Ernie Broglio, the 3 0 pitch. Curveball misses. This one in the dirt. I think so Jones is going to be accusing Beals of having the Bernie cheat button on. <laughs> well, I was told yeah, by uh, stands for cheat. Hey, I was told by um, by Buckshot that he thought that Steve put a little um, anti Chico's virus in here, <laughs> and uh, they did get eliminated. So yes, Steve, you clinched tonight, as you well, know. Maybe the virus that he put on it to get off to an eight game lead in the first month uh, just wore off. Maybe there was a oh. shelf life on that. <laughs> I, I said, I, I said, I said it before. I said maybe, maybe his he team, himself, like, maybe right? his team and Chico yeah. is, a, maybe his team and Buckshot are like, they're like simpatico, like you know, like ET, you know, like Elliot and ET, like when Elliot got sick or ET got sick, Elliot was sick. Same kind oh, of thing. Oh yeah, with uh, Buckshot and his team, you know, when Buckshot doesn't uh, I went in the shit up, you know. Doesn't OTP has this team chemistry going yeah. on here with the perfect team, you know? So yeah, maybe you're right. It's the connective tissue between players that got disrupted. Yeah, maybe it could be it. It could be some kind of uh, you know extra testicle. I mean, terrestrial uh, yeah. extra testicle. You <laughs> see, right? Sonny Seabird is going to come in. Ernie Brolio's day is done. He'll pitch to Will Clark. Ooh. A one-two pitch, and promptly strikes strikes out Will Clark. So two away for Jay Johnstone. I made fun of him last time, and um, he singled. So I'm not going to say anything this time. Chipper Jones at first. I don't know why. I, it, look, good dental health. There we go. Sean wants us to focus on baseball. Here we go. The 2-1 pitch. No, he's over there looking at the rosters in basketball. He, he's the center probably. Here, Jones gotta, rounding gotta second. He's going to fix it. Hey, Chris. But So, Chris, happy – well, I wish you happy birthday on, on the Facebooks. Happy birthday to Chris Slovic. Many, wow. many beers to come, my friend, for many years. God grant them to you. Chris, I know – you got to come on again sometime. I realize you're getting ready to go to work, but work's bullshit. Come on here and talk whatever we're talking about with us, man. I have to do this. Yeah, you're welcome for the happy birthday. Um, not so we're not so. Our Bucks lost tonight, man. Not cool. Not cool. So, but that's all right. We're, we're going to try this. I doubt Chris can come on, but if we can get him on for a few minutes, Chris is 21. John, he certainly is. He finally made it. All right. Oh, you're at work now. So tell the little ankle biters you have to attend to baseball. They won't mind. All right. Here we go. Back to baseball, or Sean's going to smack me. Runners at the corners, two away. Sonny Siebert deals the 0-2 pitch. Curveball, and Gravith goes down swinging. Three runs, four hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Shark seven, thrillers three. Thrillers are still in the hunt, so I don't want to pull the um, zoom roll just yet. Here's Pudge, fly to deep left. We'll see what they do here. Jack Powell deals, and here we go. Lace to left, base hit. Rodriguez will hold it first. Barry Bonds now. I should have a picture of him up here with the Pittsburgh Pirates. You will notice a smaller head. Anyhow, <laughs> the 0-2 pitch to Bonds, steer right three. So Jack Powell has fans seven in this game, and here's Curtis Granderson. Granderson 0-1 with a walk. 
one Granderson pops this first base slide. Will Clark giving chase. Plenty of room. Makes the catch. Two up, two down. Pudge remains at first. Matt Williams, one for two in the game. Doubled last time. Mike and I thought it was out of here. Yeah. Throw over. Like, where the hell is Rodriguez going to go? Jack Powell's thrown over to first. Rodriguez with one steal in the season. Got to love it. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Here we go. So Chris says he wants to come on, but he wants to talk about how he was how he was in one of the poorest areas of Lao and how he got dumped on his birthday by that Lao girl. Chris, we'd love to hear that. Oh, we we would love to hear that actually. Yeah. So it's there, Chris. Jack Powell deals the one-two pitch to Williams. Fastball oh. high. But not deep. Bobby Veach ranging back 10 feet short of the track makes the catch. No runs, one hit, no errors. Five in the books. Seven to three. Let's see what Jeff Kent can do here. Nothing for two. Saturday, he says. Kent swings. Little bouncer down the first base line. Williams with a long throw across the diamond to Cabrera, who stretches, makes the catch. One out. Cracker shock. Nothing for two. Speeding it up here. Three one. Shock dribbler to short. Trammell ranges to his right, close play at first, and they get shocked by an at's eyelash. Two up, two down. Marty Marion struck a single his last time up, the one-two. Fastball, line to left for extra bases. Bonds giving chase. Marion will get into second with a stand-up <clears throat> double, two down. It's 24th of the season, and it brings up Dan Bruthers singled back in the fifth. So uh, Big Clue tried to uh, foist Bruthers off into me earlier in the season. Uh, Bruder sitting 224 home run, 17 runs. He's the, only guy, he's the only guy who's in the 19th century right now, right? He is our only 19th century guy. He he, Keeler like will him. join him in a few years, but yes, he is it. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's from the 19th century. 3 2, and he draws the walk. Here we go. St. Pete, Bobby Veach with three RBI yeah, on the day, it. and he did that in the fifth inning with one stroke of the bat. Oh, two Very pitch to Veach. Fastball, base hit, right field. Canigliaro up with it. Marion rounds third. Oh. And I think it's time, gentlemen. We've got we're gonna zoom this game. All right. We're gonna zoom it. Let's take it to the end of the seventh. Oh, zoom. I'd say it's over, guys. Let's just end game it and let's 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 end uh, the baseball dugout. Let's go. Damn crowd. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're going to the end of the game with this. Ten to five. Kravith. Wow, how about it? So for the for the Victoria Sharks, they pick up their fifty seventh win. Oh, three home yeah. runs for uh, Mid Michigan, but not enough. Not enough. That's right. Mid Michigan falls to 87 and 69. Bobby Veach, two for five with a home run. Four runs batted in. I'm guessing that's going to be the MVP. Marty Marion, two for three with a double. Gabby Kravath, one for three, a home run. Three runs batted in. For Mid Michigan, as Mike said, not enough. Miggy goes one for four with a home run. Mike Andrews, two for three with a home run. Jim Tomey, three for four, a home run. Two runs batted in. Quickly, uh, do we even care? No. Let's see who got the MVP. Bobby Beach. All right. Let's look and let's see what we have here as we just sim out the rest of the games here on this day. And then we go to the penultimate week. So sorry for the bad advertising on the 10 gentlemen. Is that everything on this day? Yeah, that is. Is that it? That is it. So I'll be doing the BBX files. I'll probably do them all wrong again. Um, maybe I'll just... You know what? I'm just going to put up the whole damn league file. So just what Steve did. All right. So Lehigh, let's look at the official screen. I like the way it looks better. All right. So Lehigh clinched tonight, um, finishing eight and a half in front of Chico. So good race there. Congrats to Chico's for um, putting it, making it tough all year. The Lehigh's. Wow. Not, Steve the was talking all kinds of shit and he backed it up this season. <clears throat> he did back it up. I did. I started off like. Uh... Just letting you it like, out, didn't I? You're like trading like crazy. And you're like, oh, you, you were feeling it. Well, so it, I, I almost yeah. created a, a bad <clears throat> predicament for myself. And then Chico's uh, jumped out in front of me and had this thing about 80% in the bag. And then yeah. he went yeah. and did something. Mike, I think you're on to it. He started trading 
people he didn't need to. Right. Well, you were writing a 13 game hitting streak as of end of day today, Steve. Hitting? Or, or 13 game winning streak. 13 of, wins I've done in a row. Yes. What the hell? 13 wins. Crazy, huh? Liverpool wow. ties it up easily in the Earth Division, 16 and a half in front of Manchester. So Manchester tie, finishes tied for second with Berlin. So uh, Manchester at one point, I think, was in fifth place. Um, so made a good run at it, but fell short. Uh, the Fire Division, what are you going to say except um, Bernie? Bernie finishes third at, with 90 and 65. I mean, who who wouldn't want a ninety and sixty five record? Can you know, well, he can still overtake Lancaster. Bernie's Bernie's going to be simming the next week, right? So he can definitely overtake Lancaster. With that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take Lancaster yeah, can, exactly. This is all about who's going to have a one one higher pick over the other, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's I see still, Tampa Bay and Canada rematch. I don't know. Uh, we yeah. have a lottery system for the bottom eight, I think. Oh, so, oh, Chris, uh, we got to put this on the screen for Steve from Chris. Chris Slovic. Yes, it is me. And you can say the word foot. That, that yeah, got lived you're allowed to say it now. You're allowed to say the whole thing, Chris. Yeah, been say for a year now, that that, that that word's no longer censored. So I, then he I, says I then he can start the state thing. tournament. He's, he's, he's still going about the state tournament. So, yeah. And, and Slovic, it, I don't know if he's once... I'll let a little bit out, right, to build this up. He's Go coming up it. with some really unusual things. He's going to have like a whole soccer style, you know, like like brackets and uh, what do you call it, pool play. Oh, and then he's the he's going to do um, like high school rules and shorten uh, the normal quarter length, something like that. Anyway. It's going to be fun. It's yeah, he's going to do, uh, you know, almost like state high school type football. He, he's got a bunch of cool little uh, touches he's going to put on it. So we have a menage a trois going on here again between Tampa Bay, Hadley Lake, or among Tampa Bay, Hadley Lake, and Mid Michigan. Mid Michigan, two games from elimination. So I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not going to play it. This is going to be the next week, but I just want to see who Mid Michigan, who these three teams are playing uh, coming up on the. Let me tell you, Mike, if you haven't gone back and watched the broadcast I did earlier, you beat um, uh, Chico's. <laughs> and the, the game before you nice beat spoiler. them, I think. No. Oh. Oh, did we lose him? Who did we lose? Like Utah oh, internet game. service isn't very. Uh... Oh, I heard him. I heard him. He's back. I, he said something. I oh yeah, Lajeway oh. went five for five with a home run for you in one game. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> that was like garbage time, you know. <laughs> so what gets interesting here in this uh, mm -hmm. sort of little. Tete -te here on in the water division is they're all playing um teams they should beat handily. So uh yeah. So you got three teams above water, three below. Three below. Oh, You've been waiting all night for that one, Steve. For handily, <laughs> right? But that didn't happen. What's that, Mike? Mid Michigan should have beaten St. Pete handily is what you're saying, but that didn't happen the last game. Did Mid Michigan happen. was nine out when I started simming games and they got down to four out. And then kind of went on a losing thing. It looked like they were going to climb right up there. Sean firing some shots here. Ooh. Is is this the year Sean does the exact same thing and repeats? Meaning <laughs> it's knocked out in the first round. Well, if he has <laughs> if he has how news or how Newhouser on the hill, probably right. He, he, Jamie Never gonna Jamie stopped him last year. He did. He did. Jamie is as cool as the other side of the pillow. Yes, he is. <laughs> Ooh, never heard that before. I like that. Ty Cobb um, looks like he's going to win the batting title rather easily. Um, and spooky enough, um, so his batting average in the league is the same as his batting average lifetime, 362. Baseball will be spooky. So we might not have baseball, Jones, but we got some spookiness going on. Um, so let me see. No Carpathian scrubs anywhere in the leaderboard. Oh, no, except Cy Seymour, former Carpathian scrub. Yeah, yeah he's up there. He's up there. Traded for um, someone you're not, even, you're not even starting. Mari Wills. Uh, well, I traded him away. I know, I know. But that next season, you watch. I'm going to pay attention. Mari Wills leading the league in stolen bases. 81. Look at that. Nice. Sean just um, predicted ooh. a victory, folks, right? It's in the chat. Jamie's lineup is trash, and he will not win again. Oh. Oof. Yikes. Oh, Man. that same thing happened last year, too. Damn. Damn. And he does have some injuries right now, Jamie does. 
Yeah, we well, should probably. I don't know if there's. Well, yeah. He doesn't benefit from the LK injury. line. He doesn't benefit from the LK line bug. So. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's good. You guys, man. So let's let's look at just a couple highlights. These are fun to look at. So <laughs> Long Island in its game walked ten batters. So legends don't know where you are, but wow, I think your I think your pitching staff's worse than mine. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's 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 not saying great things about my pitching staff. Uh, Bill Deneen for Dallas um, struck out ten. By the way, where's Rube Waddell? We got to see what he's doing in pitching. Ernie and, Banks, and How you might Ernie check Banks? Beatles uh, Jamie's roster. I think Koufax was close to being deactivated. Okay, let's let's look. Let us look. If you Tampa look Bay. at usage under the roster for Tampa Bay, um, yeah, let's, pitching let's do usage that. for pitching. All right, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Usage pitching, boom. Um, and uh, where's Sand? Oh, oh no, wait. he's at there 145 right now, so he's good. And there was another guy, Carl Taylor, for um, San Francisco. Batter. <clears throat> I might have so where is he? Shaw, who's close as well. Oh, no, Mo Vaughn. Okay, no, Mo Vaughn's close. Yeah. They're close. They're not at the 150 threshold yet. But. So Eucalyptus out, that kind of hurt San Francisco a little bit, but uh, meh. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, go back, take a look at Jamie's team. I, I didn't pay attention. He's got this, he had several people injured. Okay, so let's let's just look at. Uh, oh, he must be healed. Yeah, I guess what's his name? Benny Hinn showed up or something. They are all yeah. healed. Put your hands on the computer, friends. Jamie, <laughs> hey, who man. that? Who that? So that's pretty much it, I guess. Bernie, since he's oh yeah, Rube Waddell. Let's see what he did. We got to find out how many strikeouts because he led last year. Three seventy five. Look, wow. Three seventy. Yeah, ridiculous. So what's the so so Steve? While we have you on here for a moment, what's going on with like the dead ball guys? Because like so, like Matthewson is tearing it up. Twenty nine wins. Right. We've got Waddell with 375 strikeouts. But we have like some of the dead ball guys getting rocked and also on the, the batting side, like some of these dead ball guys are cranking home runs and the other ones are hitting so far below the Mendoza line that uh, they fell into the crevice. Right. It, it, they're out of context. They're playing people they never played in an era they never played. I mean, shit's going to happen. I look well, at the leader, the ERA leaderboard up there is people from every era. Yeah, that's nice to see. That wins, is nice to see. The big guys are going to get more wins because they, they – start more games so right like me wins that is probably right. one of the weakest stats to even look at loving um, to loving that rube waddell though is leading in strikeouts but but yeah. matthewson not just doing on a run support 341 k's for him banner year for him and i i, I think this look is, at the all-stars i mean you got david ortiz in there right you yeah got Cobb. you got music you got people from all over history in there yeah wagner's in there joe mauer the only um, real issue i have is manager of the year i don't know what that algorithm is I, well, I, th I actually read in the board. It's going to be the most wins, and that's the manager of the year. Go take a look at that report that shows the manager that did above um, expectation. So, all right, is it report? Where do I find that? We'll look. Y you're um, going to go, yeah. Reports. And where? You're going to go look at league. Okay. Whoops. And isn't it manager of the year? And you're going to see you're going to see managers that have outdone their Pythag. Okay. Oh, exceeded expectations. Yeah, Let's the ones see. that exceeded expectations. So Jeff Hunter, he's exceeded all expectations by being very not involved. There's a well, tip. Yeah, there is a Mike tip. Mike Silva. You and Mike Silva. Hey, baby, that's right. The two guys are going to chat. by not jacking with your team. So, see, you see, Paisan? See, we, actually, we're Irish gangsters. See what we did, Mick? Do you see what we did? I just watched uh, Road to Perdition last night. Yeah, so there is something involved in this. I mean, look at these. Look at these scrubs here that actually took care of their league. Hold, I mean, on, hold on a second. That's insulting. I'm, why am I the, how is that how do I exceed expectations? I'm in dead Well, it, it's just they put your name on there, but what it's saying is your team really only had expected runs at 62. So you're plus three in the win column. They exceeded expectations based on their run differential. Wow, okay. Whatever. Now you know your name's on there that you didn't have much to do with it, but it's still there. True. Kind of like shot. They're just putting the team with the most wins. It seems like gets the manager of the year. They're not paying attention to all the other stuff that goes into that. Where's Whatever that, that might be. Uh, I don't even know what goes into it. Canada is basically exactly what they're expected, I guess. 
Um, yeah. I mean, they're yeah, right at what you'd expect with the run differential. They got a high run differential. And the, the whole Al K line thing too. That that must be factored. You all look at him. You all wish you could draft like me. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm anxious to see how your team do, can it stay a hundred win team next year. I was surprised it won a hundred this year, but well, if Sean gets to manage his team in the playoffs again, then Jamie definitely has a chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I saw somewhere in the uh, on the action Some PC board that there was a bug in the game selecting manager of the year, Steve. I, I think it's oh. that. <laughs> Let me tell you what, Sean's going to be reckoned with with one pick, and that's when he got uh, Pete Alexander. He says, thanks for Carlton for Winfield. His pitching is great again next year. So, guys, this was fun. It was good to get get back on the horse a little bit and, and have some fun. So I'm going to zip this up and put it in the Discord, the whole league file, because I got – like just endless crap last time because I did the BBX files and I couldn't be arsed to remember what days I played. So I put the whole thing up, all the, the whole BBX file, every game I ever played. So zip file, Bernie would be ready for you for whenever you're doing it. Steve, thanks for coming on. And David and Mike oh, and guys, remember, right? Court dreams, you know, if you're interested in season two, um, you know, drop a line in the Discord. You should be a member of the the Discord's Baseball Geek Squad and join the Ned McGreevy one. It's 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 kind of lonely over there, but please join it too. Um, and also, Steve is looking for people. Like what you said, Steve, possibly eleven already interested in the Gridiron Dreams project. Is that correct? <clears throat> I think we yes. lost again. Oh, okay. Yes. No, no I'm, I'm here. I, you, you got me locked down in deep thought. Right, I can tell you right now. Okay. We I thought have, somebody hit you with the Book of Mormon or something. We have 12, but we have two question marks. Will Tool, okay. we don't know, and Jamie's a question mark. So that, that's it. And Slashed is a question mark for mid-Michigan. But, yeah, so we got about nine maybe confirmed. Sean, you know what? I'll put this up, and, and you are welcome because – you know what? I will say on, on a serious note, there were a couple of people that had told me in the past about all our channels. They said, you know, in the chat, they said, maybe you don't realize this, but for a lot of people and the things going on in their life, this is one of the things that they can look forward to that's positive. So it means a lot. And on behalf of all of us, Sean, thank you. And you're part of it, man. So even, even though you're a jag off at times, man, I'm glad you're part of it. you know, seriously. So as yeah, we all are, as we all are on occasion. Exactly. Steve, any parting words about upcoming projects or what's going on with this going forward? Did you want to remind anybody about Keeper List, this, when the season is going to be out? Keeper List. Keep, well, how about I remind you? I think you probably owe us keepers. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Jadrul. I know. I'm a Jadrul. I know how you do. You'll probably milk it to the last minute. It's like taxes and stuff. But no, noon on Thursday, Keeper List must be in. Because yeah. in the afternoon, we will be doing... Um, a reveal of the three seasons we'll be choosing from for next year and look who shows up yeah hey let's hey let's wrap this up because mb just showed up so <laughs> exactly well that's uh, all for baseball tonight guys <laughs> that's all folks <laughs> yeah all right In closing MV, comments there comes mv yeah wouldn't you know it wouldn't you and know let's it. congratulate mike again for uh contributing to a uh, championship yeah, that was good. Yeah, finally. Way to go, Mike. And MV. Oh, I got another one. I'm sorry. I got one from the summer, one for the, you know. Oh, bite me, he says. Oh, oh, and it comes oh. So oh, Sean geez. fires the shot, and you receive the bullet, dude. This is, uh, wow. Is this like the magic bullet theory in oh. Dallas? MV, yeah. MV must have woke up from that that winner's nap. He takes those naps, and then he, he, we don't hear from him for a while. He comes back refreshed. So we yeah. got to give MV some 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 love here. So, so MV... You did finish second. Well, you tied for second. I think yeah, that, we still got a few games. Uh, yeah, we that's still, true. Not over yet. We got a week yet. We got a week. So you six games still, left. Uh, right. Notes, he's got a. He's got a. He's battling the yeah, managerless yeah. team. Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool clinched. MV. Liverpool with a ninety-eight fifty-eight record, sixteen and a half thus far ahead of you in Manchester. We or might you have to Berlin. call a welfare chicken on Buckshot. Does anybody know anybody down in Florida? I'm worried about Buckshot now. I am worried about Buckshot. Yeah, earlier. yeah he was in earlier. Oops, right. yeah, yeah, but we need his his he has he has this great voice, man. He needs to be back on here doing this. Yeah, he's, he's hurt. He was he's still not back to 100. So it, 
Yeah. Those so voodoo fries must have been living hell, man. Wow. Run from the voodoo fries. It's all that Cajun dust. Maybe you had some bad ceviche or something. <laughs> Yeah. So, guys, the only thing that we have left Shrimp is the water no division. Tampa Bay holding on to a four-game lead over Hadley Lake, and they're six games up on mid-Michigan. And the three teams that they're playing, uh, at least tomorrow, when Bernie or whomever is doing it, they're playing some easy teams. So the water division could be decided as soon as, uh, what, I would say, what, Wednesday? Yes. Tomorrow, yeah. Wednesday. All right. In the so, basketball league, for everybody yes. in it, we have 13 of the 14 teams. Rosters are confirmed. I, I just need hammer times tomorrow, and then I'll have the file out. So hopefully in the morning I'll be able to get the file out because I know Ber Bernie will love testing that. He's been testing a non-complete file, and now he'll have the, the whole shebang. So, Steve, with that, it, let's say you do get the league file. When are you guys um, thinking of your first broadcast? possibly and i mean you're probably gonna be doing it on your channel but just to let people know when it might be yeah well i i don't know let I me mean, i think it's day by day we're just kind of take it one step at a time and figure out uh i think the one I, thing though before we just rush to a start is giving people a chance to have the game or just mm -hmm. got it a chance to run some sims and get familiar with the manager file i i don't think we need to rush into it in a couple of days you know sean okay. mentioned he could the manager file is really robust and, and very easy but it's very detailed uh, in the uh, basketball game. So I'm like, hey, let's give everybody a few days to, you know, let it soak in and play an exhibition, ask questions, um, and get used to the manager file and how they want to set their team up. Bernie's done a lot of legwork already on trying to figure out what a broadcast may look like because basketball is such a long game with the chalkboard. It is. How we, could, how we could look at a game, see where it's at, maybe sim it to the fourth quarter. And if it looks like it's a close one, maybe that's a great candidate uh, game for uh, broadcasting so yeah i mean uh kind of working things as we go we don't have a recipe down for what the broadcast would look like in that but we will i'm assuming too that with basketball with a shorter amount of games played that the seasons are going to go more quickly as well anyhow right um more uh, more quickly than we've done baseball or are you guys going to try to try to find that balance i guess because you don't want to zoom through it in a week right yeah I, I, it's a good question I, I think we'll have to figure that balance out too yeah right i mean this really started saturday morning i think it was when bernie just kind of inspired a, hey let's do it right right well um and we appreciate it has been the, mike's, uh, enc mike's encouraged us to look at all kinds of weeks <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, it's good that the Discord's been alive again. So guys, join join the Discord. Um, any people watching it later, um, I mean we probably could put a link into it, but check with the broadcasters, whatever, because we're out of hand here now and a lot of fun. Um, but thank you to Steve, um, who who along with Big Clue, basketball <laughs> Jones, um, making all three of these leagues possible. Can't thank you, Steve, and, and Big Clue enough. Uh, to David for, well, for not for, for buying the first round of crackers. Uh, yeah, I can't hear you with all that ruckus. There's a ruckus. There's Can a ruckus. Try the ruckus. Uh, and if, thank you, Beetle, for inviting me on and, and making me feel. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you know, love having you guys on. And of course, and of course to Mick. What can we say? Hockey champ. We, he's he's next year NHL. I know it. So ever, ever since I was a baby, I always be dribbling. I don't know. <laughs> you guys. All right. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be on. Just last word again about the McGreevy League is suspended indefinitely. Um, but Bernie and I are going to do some sort of thing because I do want to start bringing some dead ball and 19th century back to the channel. But with everything else running, I think it'd be um, McGreevy is just going to add too much to the mix and weirdness so um it'll be back it's just for now uh you know let's wait till the basketball thing gets going the football thing gets going and whatever but mcgreevy will be back at some point but join up for the football thing get involved with the basketball uh we still have an opening in fields of dreams baseball so if somebody wants to pick up a team there's one available as Mike goes on. Is it, is it David singing or Mike? I don't even no, know. It's not me. Okay. I'm trying to get out of here. I, I'm about to have a Nick fit. 
<laughs> All right, let's close it down. I understand you, brother. All right, guys, until next time, see you around the batting cage, and I will have the league file up in a few minutes, guys. Good Thank night. you, everybody. Thanks, Beatles. You bet. Good night. Good night.